Everybody and welcome to another episode of the one, the only game season live. It is I and I am him, Pete Simonetti. We have a ball game to call as the Baltimore Orioles and as the New York Yankees go back at it again. Yankees looking to win the series, Baltimore looking to do a little splitty on the series. We'll see what happens very soon on the mound for the New York Yankees tonight, today, in, in my opinion, folks. This is uh, the biggest headline of the game. Luis Severino. This is going to be his last start. I, I want to say this. Yeah, this is going to be his last start before the All-Star break. Sevi needs a good performance. He needs something to take him out a little bit on a high note and say, hey, guys, I'm going to be okay. If Sevi gets shelled tonight and beat up, I am certainly a little concerned about what his future is to this club the remainder of the season. And I'm dead serious when I say that. I think this outing is big. I put on Twitter, and now we got threads out there now. Now there's Twitter, there's threads, there's this, there's your sister's tit. I'll subscribe to that too if I need to. It don't matter. Uh, so I'm on threads too if anybody wants to follow NYY News TV. You already know the deal. There, there's all these damn things being created out there. Who knows, Okay. All right, but I put on there, I said, hey, look, Luis Severino needs a dominant performance today. I don't want to hear the nonsense. I don't want to hear the baloney. Eh, he just has to be good. No. Sevi needs a dominating performance today to say, guys, here I am. I'm ready to rock and roll. Your boy is here. That's what the Yankees need from Luis Severino tonight, and I hope they get it. Well, as always, let's see who we got in the house tonight. We got my guy, Scott Wright, Lois Simmons, Desiree Conrad, Elizabeth Simmons. I you don't? LV, what is going on? Diamonds and Yoli's World. They got to get the W tonight. Facts. Mr. Mike, I you don't? I you don't? Luis R. Camilla Simmons, how you doing? Anthony Garcia, my guy, my guy. TC Steels, what is going on? Yankees, Kyle, I see ya. Shane McNeil, that's another one of my guys. All my guys in here, okay? Jason Lang, how you doing, brother? Good to see you. Good to see you, Hank. What is going on? My guy, Hank. I love the name, Hank. I don't know why. Vikings, what's going on? How you doing? How you doing? Yo, Elvis. Anthony Medina. Uh, hey, hey. Hey, hey. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Hirsch. My guy. DJ Astelio. What is going on, fam fam? Wooderson. What's going on, Wooderson? Chase, triple seven. What is going on, Chase? Nate, that's my guy right there. What's going on, Nate? How you doing? Guys, I do have an update on the event. I told you guys I would have the numbers. My guy got back to me today. We officially have 28 tickets left. 28 tickets to NYY News TV Day. Guys, get your tickets. And I got some more breaking news for you. I don't want to put this guy on the spot. But my understanding is... The one, the only, Dane Huber is going to be at the event. Look, that's my understanding. If you guys want to go ahead and beat up Dane and force him and be like, bro, are you coming? Yes or no? I don't want to put Dane on the spot, but I got to put Dane on the spot, if you know what I'm saying. Dane told me he's going to be there. 
So I'm just, I'm telling you guys what Dane told me. Yes, it was a personal conversation, but I'm doing it. Joe, what is going on? Joe, we honored, I think it was your, your father, right? We honored him yesterday, my guy. Uh, so we appreciate you guys know we're honoring a veteran every day of July. We got another one in store today. Continue to send those emails. Oh, Lorraine. Thank you for being a friend. Lorraine, thank you so much for the super chat, Lorraine. I greatly appreciate a you. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Chris Mack, what's going on, brother? You guys know I will continue to say hi to everybody as we go. But first and foremost, we got a ball game to call. Let's go ahead and switch on over to as a mother bud and get ready to call the game. There he is, Luis Severino. Yes, guys. So look, Dane's on his way. Dane's coming to the event. Let me tell you right now, what does that mean that Dane's coming to the event? It means that we have a goat in the house. Don't ever say, I do not do things for all of you. All right? Dane's on his way. My guy. Mr. Zahid, what is going on? How you doing? How you doing? Recon Gaming, Jake Newman. What's going on, brother? What is going on, everybody? Pete. Uh, a question, what telly you plan on staying for the event weekend? Look, DJ Steels, I don't like to disclose where my location is. You know what I mean? There could be some enemies out there looking to get me. There could be paparazzi out there saying, oh, the beautiful, lovely, wonderful fiance's around. Let's get some pictures of her. I don't need all that, Steelio. But I am staying in Midtown Manhattan. Pitch. <laughs> Is a call strike, and my MLB TV wants to screw with me already as it takes me back to the beginning of the game. Let's get it updated. One and one, as that one misses. The one one incoming to Gunnar Henderson. I got a devil in here, folks. He's flying around my face. Get out of here, Nat. Two and one. Huge start today for Luis Severino, folks. Don't let nobody tell you any different. This is big. This is big. The 2-1 incoming pitch fouled away. Good rip right there. 97. Right down to Johnson. And the count is quickly 2-2. Two and two. Guys, you know I'm going to be going nuts on Friday for the first start of Carlos Rodon tomorrow. I can't wait. That pitch is in the dirt. And the count is 3-2 and two to the leadoff batter. You know what that means, folks. You know, it's not what you want. No, it's not what you want. It's not what you want, okay? Timeout call by Henderson. Yeah, we need the good outing today. Mike Rocky, what's going on? Adam DeSocio, how are you? Pitch, foul the way. Viking says, Pete Caputo was on Morning Brew today, so he is alive in the chat. Well... Pitch. If I hit it, on the, hit it down the line to left field, range it over, still back. That ball is gone. Gunnar Henderson literally just pokes the bat out. And that's another home run given up by Luis Severino. Holy shit. Holy shit on a couple of things. Gunnar Henderson got dumbass power. One, two, Luis Severino continues to suck ass. Gunnar Henderson got serious pop. That wasn't just out to left field. That was a good five, six rows back. Pitches a call strike to Adley Rushman to count his own one. Pitch, call strike, 0-2. Joe Bricado, what's going on? Eric, my guy, Brennan. Yo, Joe, what's going on, everybody? G-Man, how you doing, brother? Guys, smack it at likey, hitty the subby. 0-2 on Adley Rushman. 
pitch low and the count is one and two the other Nate what's going on the other Nate (laughs) 2.48 home runs allowed per nine this season let me tell you guys if you don't know anything about that that's really bad pitches in the dirt two and two Joseph what's going on my guy what could we do with Sevy? if anything? I mean, at some point, that's going to be the conversation the Yankees are going to have to make. Is there maybe another starter that's going to be a free agent that you could swap with to see if you get something better out of him? Is he a guy you end up saying, put him in the bullpen? Maybe that's the case, too. Pitch. He struck him out. It's a bounce back right there. Gets a strike out of Adley Rushman. Now to bring up Anthony Santander with one away. Sevy is just one of those very weird guys that um, it wouldn't shock me if he could just put it together, you know, and all of a sudden just start looking good. But uh, I mean, I, I don't really know at this point um, how much uh, you can really rely on the guy, if any at all. First pitch is up. Oh, excuse me. Count is now two and oh, that one is low. Two and oh on Anthony Santander. Pedro, what's up, my guy? Rick, Giovanni Ortiz, Roberto Santos, the boy Wanda. What's going on, everybody? How you doing? 2 0 is low, 3 0. I still feel like he is. I still feel like there's something wrong with Luis Severino. I don't know what it is, but I feel like there's something wrong there, man. 3 0 is hit on the ground. Fair ball. Making a play is DJ LeMayu. And there's two away. Spooky Myers. What is going on, my guy? How you doing, Carlos? What's going on, Carlos? The boy Wanda says, Pete, I am loving all rise. Yeah, I like doing all rise. I like doing it. My voice feels good. Uh, when my voice bothers me, all rise is kind of tough. But. I really like that show. And like I said, guys, um, my goal is to make that a Monday through Friday show at some point. I don't know if it'll be this year. I'm doubtful that it will be this year. But going forward at some point, I would like to make it an everyday show every morning. Pitches inside and the count is 2-0 on Ryan O'Hearn, who's doing very well for the Baltimore Orioles. Had another home run last night. Off of Ian Hamilton that sealed the deal. Swing and a miss. Goes at a change up there in the 2-0. Gets him swinging 2-1. and The 2-1 incoming. Line to left field. There's a base hit. Ryan O'Hearn continues his hot hitting. How to bring up Cedric Mullins, who was the DH today. Good piece of hitting by O'Hearn. Just stays down on the ball. Hits it to left field. Long swing through the zone. That's called good hitting right there, folks. Solid piece of hitting. O'Hearn now hitting 299 with an 876 OPS. Wow. Wow. Pitch in the dirt, and the count is 1-0. Jonathan Taylor, what is going on, my guy? How are you doing? Mel Legacy, what is up? What is up? What is up? What is up? Patty Sinclair, what's going on, brother? How you doing? One and O on Cedric Mullins. Draco 400. What's going on, my guy? Pitch outside. And the count is two and O. That was Gunnar Henderson's 12th home run of the season. You talk about a kid that is vying for that rookie of the year. Gunnar Henderson's definitely in that mix. Three and O, and he's getting hot. 
Just as Anthony Volpe has turned it around, so has Gunnar Henderson. 240 on the year, now at almost an 800 OPS, 12 homers, 31 ribbies for the rookie shortstop Gunnar Henderson. 3-0 is outside, he walks him. First and second, two away for another Baltimore top prospect, Colton Kowser. And here comes Blake. As Matt Blake comes out already, Sevy at 24 pitches already in the first inning. Boy, oh boy, he may not be long for this one. Oh, it's getting late early here at Yankee Stadium already, folks. I'm about 20 minutes into this damn game season live, and I'm already getting angry. David Douglas, what's going on, brother? Brian. How you doing, fam? Sevy's doing something, Dane. I don't know what it is. Rick, what's up? M.W. Griffith. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Colton Kowser is stepping in. The pitch to Kowser. Big power. Call strike. And the count is O oh, and 1. Apocalypse. What is going on, my guy? What is going on, brother? Pitch number 26 incoming to Colton Kowser. The count is 0 oh, and 1. First and second, two away. Pitch. Hit on the ground up the middle. Volpe there. Fields. Fires. Got him. Had a lendy inning. Yankees get out of the jam. But they do give up run on a leadoff solo home run by Gunnar Henderson, his 12th of the season. The Yankees coming up. And yes, indeed, Anthony Volpe is the leadoff man today. Volpe, Torres, Rizzo. That means when my Yankees get Juan Soto, maybe it'll be Volpe, Soto, Judge. As Dane Huber today wrote a terrific article on why the Yankees should go all out to get Juan Soto. So if anybody has not read it, you see it right down here. Look, right down there. You look straight down this way. You're going to see nyynewstv.com. It should be saved as a favorite anyway. It should be saved as a favorite. So I'm just letting you guys know. Check that out today. It was fantastic. Lord Raiden, so nice for you to join us. I don't. I don't. Floyd Samuels, what is going on, brother? How you doing? Twenty-eight tickets left, everybody, and I don't want to be a spoiler. Got a couple of teammates who are buying their tickets this week, so at twenty-eight is about to go a little further down. Get your. Tickets, folks. Do not wait. Do not wait. Chrissy, how you doing? Was tonight Severino bobblehead night? It might be tonight. If it's not tonight, it was probably manana. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road, you get your ass back again. Rod Thompson. What a stark contrast in Severino's body language this year from last year. I don't care what anyone says. Sevy does not look like a confident pitcher and his mechanics are all over the place. That, sir, I agree with completely. Completely. Oh, my MOB TV is being a jerk off today. I can't stomach it, I tell you. Count is 1-0 and on Anthony Volpe. The pitch. Line to right field, Santander there, one away. And there's a one away. Okay, I think my MLB TV is okay now. Smaggy to likey, pity to subby. <clears throat> Here's Glabass Torres. 
Hitting 245 on the season, the pitch from Kyle Bradish, who's been very good, is a call strike. And the count is 0 and 01. The 0 1, low. And the count is 1 and 1. Smacky the likey, it eat a, a subby. The 1-1 one, one in coming. Pitch to Glabass. Hit on the ground to second base. Feels, fires to away. Oh, that's Yankee baseball. That's Yankee baseball for you folks. That's Yankee baseball. Cade Gambles. What is going on, Cade? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? LDP. Josico. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Here's Anthony. I forgot had a homer. Rizzo. The pitch from Bradish. Fouled away. Maybe it's because I haven't done this in a while. Anthony. 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 <laughs> Try to get it to the next pitch. Pitch outside. It didn't work. Okay. If anybody was wondering, there's definitely something wrong with me. Lynn Murphy. How you doing? I get down. I get down. I get down. The one one in coming call strike. And the count is one and two. Chrissy Facts. I mean, it's about four, it's about 16 years ago. Macho King. Hi, I don't. Cup of coffee in the big time. Yeah. Cup of coffee in the big time. The one two from Bradish. Hi. And the count is now two and two. Smacky to likey. Hit he the subby. Guys, by the way, the smacky to likey hitting the subby thing, that is now just imprinted in my brain. And I'm just saying it randomly out of nowhere. Pitch. I set it upstairs early. I was getting ready to make my food. I started saying likey to subby, hitting the sub, cratchy, whatever the hell they say. But the count is now three and two on Anthony Rizzo. Eli BK, Tommy Higgs. How you doing, Tommy? How you doing? Welcome to the chat, Tommy Higgs. I like that name, Tommy Higgs. It's a good one. It's a good one. 3-2 from Bradish. Fouled away. And we will do the 3-2 dance yet again. Jonathan, I tell you what, man, I leave that up to my guys, Dane, and everybody else. I am not good at putting packages together for players. I hate doing it. I know people always go to those little websites and go, hey, look at the value. Let's see what we can make here. I'm like, does any trade actually, does any trade ever work out from that site? I mean, I, I don't really use that stuff. I just kind of, every now and then I play around with that thing, but I, I don't know about these trades. I don't know. 3-2. Line to left field. That's a good piece of hitting for Rizzo. It worked. It worked, folks. There's a base hit. It worked. I think we got Anthony back. I think we got Anthony back, folks, by me doing the Anthony. 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 I think we got him back. We're going to test it again next at bat, but just remember, right now I started. He's one for one. I'm just telling you guys, I haven't done it in a while. Here we are. Here is Harrison Badar. Pitched to Bader from Bradish. Call strike. Beautiful pitch. And the count is 0 and 1. 263, 7 homers, 28 ribbies, 771 OPS for Harrison Bader. Baltimore up 1 0 on the Gunner, Gunner Henderson jack job to left field pitch. Low. 101. Ah. 
I told Dane I might have to bear hug him, but he might bear hug me. Because Dane is like six foot three or six foot four. Dane's a big dude. Okay? Dane's a big dude. I'm probably still going to go in for the hug and see what happens afterwards. But I don't know what's going to happen. We'll find out. D. The Tree. How you doing? How you doing? Macho King, my guy. One, two is low. Two and two. So Rizzo and Bader having nice little at bats to begin this ball game. 17 pitches. Pitch number 18 coming up from Bradish. Two, two. Pitch. Fouled away. We'll do it again. Pitch number 19 coming up. Ah, all righty then. The 2-2 two -two pitch. They struck him out. And that'll end the inning. We go to the top of the second. Baltimore coming on up. Guys, let me dream that Soto's going to be a Yankee, okay? Just let me dream and be happy. Because that is a hope and dream of mine that Juan Soto becomes a Yankee. All right. And Yamamoto. Yamamoto's another guy I'm very, very big on. I hope the Yankees lock in Yamamoto for next year in the rotation. Rick is saying to hell with just Soto. He said to hell. He said to hell with just Soto. My man straight up said, the deal I posed, they get a Soto, Hater, Snell, and Musgrove. My guy said to hell with it. We're just going to take the whole team. We're going to take the whole team to hell with it. Um, who, I can't, I don't, I, I, Barry Bear, I don't know how to say your last name, bro, I, I very, very, very much apologize for that. Uh, bro, do you do all 162, just about, yeah, including the postseason? Yeah, I'm what you call a machine, okay, but this is my, this is, uh, NYY News TV is, is my company, it came from greatness, to be fair, because, the idea for NYY News TV, I don't believe, came from me. I had a serious situation in my life, and my path was set forward for me is what I believe. And, um, yeah, I, I I was able to quit my job and do this full-time. Uh, hasn't been easy, I'll tell you that. It's been very, very tough, and one day we will discuss all that. But, yeah, man, um, I basically call just about every single game. Pitch is high, and the count is 1-0. and oh. Severino just does not look the same. Here's Jordan Westberg. There's something about that delivery. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and one. Yep, I did not call the perfect game. Every now and then I do take a day off. Knocked down by Sevy. Fires got him. Good recovery there by Luis Severino. And there's one away. NYY News TV did cover the, the perfect game, though. So we do call basically every single game. I think there might be one or two games that we missed this year. I really don't know what it is. But typically, if I'm not calling it, we have somebody else who is calling it. When I'm on with Bad Dog on his channel, we don't call a game. The 1-0 incoming to Adam Frazier. Pitch is high, 2-0. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's like, you're right. He doesn't look like he's following through all the way. The 2 0 fouled away. And the count is 2 and 1. Aaron Hicks was a late scratch today. 
don't really know the reason why. Here's Adam Frazier pitch. Call strike two and two to Frazier. Eric Bad Dog has his own channel. He's also a busy guy. 2 2. Line to right field is a base hit. Adam Frazier just continues to hit the Yankees. McKinney gets it in. And it'll be a runner on first, one away for Ramon Urias. Patty Franks. What's going on? Low temps. How you doing? How you doing? Pitch from Seve right down to Johnson. And the count is 0-1. 290 in here. Smacky to likey. Hitty to subby. Dom Anthony says Severino needs to retire. My goodness. <laughs> Just uh, call it a year, everyone. Give it up. Call it a career. Time to go home. Jackson says Hicks pulled his groin in the shower. Pitches fouled away, one and two. On deck is Gunnar Henderson. On deck is Gunnar Henderson. The one two incoming pickoff attempt. And he's back. 109 on the likes, guys. We almost got 300 in here. Smacky that likey. Joe says, I need to not sign Sevy again. Facts. Purple Donkey. How you doing? How you doing? DNE Show. What's up, fam? Hey! He struck him out. Hey! Struck him out! Hey! Want two away. And it is Gunner, the man, Henderson. Here's Gunner, folks. Here's Gunner. Probably going to be a pain in our ass for ages. Fouled away. Big swing right there. And it count is 0 1. First inning, just a flick of the wrist for Gunner Henderson to hit a ball about six. What did he get that back? Let's see. It's about five rows back in left field down the line. I mean, my God, my man just flicked his wrist out there and the ball just flew. The ball just flew. The chef, what's going on, brother? Pickoff attempt, he's back. Count is 0-1 on Henderson. Yuri, what is going on, my brother? How you doing? How you doing? The pitch to Henderson is high. And the count is one and one. Pete Mancuso. What's going on, brother? How you doing? How you doing? The one one incoming pitch. Fouled away right down to Johnson. And the count is one and two. Will Star, Jay Gantz, Gantz. <laughs> he said, Yankees will wait till Soto's 35 to get him. Probably after his new 10-year deal he gets with somebody. They'll sign him afterwards. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Bullshit, ump. That was a strike. I don't want to hear it. Get out there, booty. That was a strike. Get the hell out of here. That's a perfect pitch. That was a perfect pitch. Henderson calls timeout. The count is two and two. My God. What a miss. Would you look at that? Yeah. Facts. We don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. Little Bob Ross on that one doesn't get the call. Two, two. Outside three and two. The umpires fucked them.
Ruben, what's up, fam? Chris Perez Jr. What's going on, brother? Corbin Dallas. How you doing? Jeff Greenwood. The 3-2. Line to left field. It stays. No, that's a bounce. IKF cannot make the play. Goes to second base. He's in there. Second and third. Two outs. Can we get a fucking outfielder? Whose balls does Floriel have to suck on to get called up to play the outfield, damn it? World Series caliber operation with no outfielders. I can't. I can't stomach this. I really can't. This, this shit just pisses me off. First the umpire, then we got no outfielders. What's next? Here's, Rump here's Rutschman, whatever the fuck his name is, pitch. Timeout called, who cares? What are we doing here? What are we doing? What the fuck is going on here? Play baseball, can you? Pitch low in the dirt, gets away, picks it up in time. Don't worry about it. Gabagool. Oh, over here. Over here. Gabagool would make me happy right now. I'll tell you that much because this isn't. This is just making me aggravated. <laughs> 1 0. In the dirt, low. Well, low, not in the dirt. 2 0. Anybody got vodka? Dennis McGuire, how you doing, my guy? Pitch is a call strike. And the count is two and one. Not a good pitch right there by Severino. Hanging slider up in the zone. It's not where you want it. The two one. Fouled away. Here we go. <laughs> Severino about to throw pitch number 49. Can he put him away and get out of this inning? We about to find out. We about to find out there, fam, fam. How you doing? Pitch. Foul. The way. And the count remains two and two. Pitch number 50. Pitch number 50. Coming up here from Severino. Zach G. What is going on, my guy? Ricky. How you doing? Pitch. Foul. My God, he is lucky. He is lucky that contact was not made on that. That ball would have been hit to the train in right field. Two and two still on Adley Rutschman. Pitch number 51 incoming. Pitch. Fouled away. We'll do it again. Good at bat by Rutschman. We'll do the 2 2 yet again. The 2 2. Popped up foul. That is going to reach the seats. And the count again remains two and two. Pitch number nine coming up as Sevi is laboring hard again. He is out there laboring bad body language. Bad body language for Luis Severino right now. You could just see it. You could absolutely see it. Two, two. Fouled away. Just gets a piece of the high fastball. And folks, you know what we got going on right now? We got a battle. Oh, who's it gonna be? Will it be Sevy? Oh, will it be Adley Pitch? Popped up. Foul ball, we'll do it again. You gotta be shitting me. What a battle. 
What a battle we're getting here. Yeah. Would you look at that? Yeah. I'm telling you. Would you look at that? What a battle. Boone's already talking to Blake about who we go to next. Boone's already getting the heart on. He wants to go to that bullpen. The 2-2. Two -two. Pitch. Fouled away. We'll have a pitch number 12. You got to be shitting me. Pitch number 56 coming up for Severino. My goodness. Wow. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Popped up to left field. He'll make the catch as IKF. That will end the inning. We will go to the bottom of the second. Yankees coming on up. Oh, the beautiful, lovely, wonderful fiance is here. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I even say how you doing to her, okay? I say how you doing to everybody in my chat, okay? That's how we do it over here. That's how we do it over here. Oh, guys, smack you the likey, hitty the subby. George, how you doing, George? How you doing, George? Good to see you. Good to see you. Yanks are a tough team to watch, no doubt about it. Yankees are indeed a tough team to watch. No questione about it. No questione about it. Oh, folks. We'll see how he bounces back. Who the hell knows? Who knows at this point? Shitty skunk mullet. Billy McKinney and DJ LeMayu coming up for the Yanks. <clears throat> hey, you see Pete, cameraman who got hit in the face by the... Uh, Gunnar Henderson throw to first base yesterday. That was terrible. That was terrible. Maybe they're giving an update. If you guys can hear it, let me know what they say. Uh, because I do not have the audio on, obviously. All righty, then. Here we go. Here's shitty skunk mullet. The pitch to Shitty Skunk. Swing and a miss. Very late on the 95 mile an hour fastball. Count is 0-1. He suffered an orbital frown. Orbitable. Or orbital fracture. Thank you. It's right here, folks. Around the eyeball. Okay. Around the eye. All right. In the dirt. Count is 1-1. One and one. Thank you, D&E Show. The 1-1 one, one incoming the shitty skunk. Pitch inside. And the count is two and one. Samantha, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Three and one on shitty skunk. Shitty Skunk looking to find himself on base. Hit on the ground, a third fields, fires, a one away. Oh, that's Shitty Skunk for you. 
Bad shitty skunk. Warlord, what is going on, my guy? So Jake Bowers injured his shoulder on a diving attempt last night in the sixth inning. Expected to undergo an MRI. He's been good for the Yankees. He's been good for the Yankees, but what are you going to do? Roseanne, how you doing? 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 Here's Billy McKinney, 262 on the season. Four homers, seven RBIs, 807 OPS. one nothing Orioles lead here in the bottom of the second. One out for the Yanks. The 1-0 is outside, 2-0. Just like that, 2-0. and oh. Good old shitty skunk mullet. Grounded out to begin the inning. Shitty skunk will do what shitty skunks do. The 2-0 from Bradish is a call strike. Count is now 2 and 1. Oh my guy, the Ace Avenue. <laughs> Foul the way to count as two and two. The Ace Avenue has gifted a membership, and it goes to my guy, George. It goes to my guy, George. George is getting upset. Oh, George is getting upset. Poor George Steinbrenner is rolling so quick in his grave. He's all the way to China. He is all the way to China by now, the poor guy. Oh, the umpire, if the foul ball hit the umpire in the back of the neck, it looked like. He's all right. Tough guy. He's a tough guy. He's okay. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Hey! Struck him the fuck out. Two away. Thank you for being a friend. The Ace Avenue says, Pete, you the man and a true inspiration. Let's go, Yankees. My guy, thank you. Keep doing your thing, brother. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. L.I. Yankee King is in the chat. Wow. L.I. Yankee King is in the chat, and Lord knows he probably has a full bottle of lotion with him because Gleyber Torres is playing today. You know what I mean? Gleyber Torres is playing today. You know what I'm talking about? So what are you going to do? Here's DJ LeGround out, also known as DJ LeStrike out. Pitch fouled away. And the count is quickly 0-2. Boy, guys, I tell you, it hurts me to talk about DJ LeMayu. It hurts me to talk about LeMayu, man, because I love this fucking guy. I love me some DJ LeMayu, and it hurts. It hurts to talk bad about him. But let me tell you something. This is indeed DJ LeGround out or DJ LeStrike out. Outside, count is 1-2. David Douglas, the offense is awful. Team is at the walking dead. Yeah, kind of there with you, brother. I mean, look, I'm still shocked the Yankees are nine games over 500. I got to give them credit on that one. That is outside. The count is two and two. The fact of the matter is that the Yankees are nine games over is pretty friggin' shocking. I don't know if anybody agrees with that. I mean, but DJ LaGabagool, he got to actually hit to be DJ LaGabagool. And you got a hit for that. The 2-2 two -two to DJ LeGround out. <laughs> he grounds out. <laughs> I can't believe it. He grounds out. Just when I call him DJ LeGround out, what does he do? He grounds out. Puts it on a silver platter for me. I don't make this up. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road. Get your ass back again. Uh, the Ace Avenue says, DJ LeGround out, laugh my ass off. Exactly what he is. DJ LeGround out. We Estevan Florio, a home run number 21. Again, whose nuts does the guy got to lick to get a call up here? I'm just keeping it real, guys, because at this point, I think there's something funny. I don't know what else DJ, uh, it's DJ LeMay, I'm talking about the same damn guy. I mean, excuse me. Excuse me. I'm talking about the same guy. My bad. Estevan Floriel. I don't know 
whose wife this guy had sex with. It's higher up for the Yankees, but this poor kid is never going to get a shot. This kid is going to be left to rot as long as the Yankees have him. And so I hope, I pray the poor guy is traded this year. I really do. I pray that he's built enough value that a team takes a chance on him and let him go play. Floriel's 25 years old. He's only 25. He's only 25 years old. That's it. 25 and... Home run number 21 today. He's having an amazing season. And the Yankees don't care. Yeah, look at that. Um, they put up a graph that the Yankees are the last in outs above average in left field. Of course, I could have told you that. I mean, we all we all could have just um, used the two things we got here, eyeballs, and knew it. You know what I mean? We could have, uh, we all knew it ourselves. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? All right, here's Luis Severino. Let's get this off the screen. There we go. Pitch is low, 1-0 and o to Anthony Santander. Smacky to likey, hitty to subby, folks. Pitch, low, 2-0. Drew S., what is going on, my guy? Thank you for being here. Thomas, how you doing? Epic Warrior. What's going on, everybody? How you guys doing? This one ripped the right field and deep over the head of McKinney. He fires it in. That'll be a long single for Anthony Santander. Lucky he didn't get elevation on that ball as that shit would have been out of here. But that ball was absolutely scorched by Santander. You can't hit a ball much harder than that one, folks. I mean, that got over McKinney's head in seconds. No chance at a double on that one. Here's Ryan O'Hearn, who is one for one today. Roseanne, trust me, we all missed that guy. I don't know if we're getting him back. Hit in the air to left field. Going back, it's over the head of IKF. What the fuck kind of route was that? Volpe drops the ball and runs scores. Put me the fuck to sleep. Inject me with something and finish me. I can't watch shitty baseball. What the fuck is IKF doing in left field? I can't take it. Oh my God. What the? My man was running the straight line. He did a 22 yard dash to left field. I won't last this game, folks. I won't last this game. I am not going to last this game. That is it. Just right on my grave, he loved the Yankees. Base hit the right field. 3 nothing. Hey, Boone! Hey, Boone! Time to fucking take him out. Take out the trash. Get him one of those New York City free crack pipes. I'm done. Just put on my grave. He desperately loved the Yankees and just wanted them to win. That's it. That's all I want to see on it. He loved the Yankees and wanted them to win. Hit on the ground foul. The count is 0-2. Batters Colton Kowser. Thank you. Savvy should be in the pen. The 0-2 incoming to Kowser. It is now 3-0 Baltimore here in the top of the third pitch. Foul the way. The count remains 0-2. Pops just messaged me. Severino sucks. <laughs> I think we I think we understand that. 
I think we understand that already. Round of the first. And there's one away. That'll make Mullins go to third. Good out. So runner on third, one away. Unreal, folks. Unreal. Pop Pops just said, Sevi sucks. Boone is scared to take him out. <laughs> Chance Gary, how you doing? My brother Killer Joe is in the chat. I'm going to give that son of a bitch a hug like he never got when he gets back from Italy. You get back home to me, baby boy. You understand me? You get back home to me. The 1-0 -oh is a call strike, and the count is 1-1. One -on -one. I don't know why I'm screaming. I got more games to call. All-star break is pretty far away still. I got a uh, Rodon start tomorrow. I got to keep my voice ready. I need to call that one. The 1-1 one -one is hit on the ground. It's a base hit the left field. It's 4 nothing Baltimore. You shit-kicking, stinky, horseman, horse smelling motherfucker, you. And he easily just goes into second base because the Yankees have no fucking clue what is going on. I mean, this has been some of the worst baseball I've watched in a while. The sloppy Yankees have returned. If you smoke crack, you might want to light it up, baby. Because this is just disgusting. This is sickening right now. I'm disgusted. I'm sick. 4 nothing, Baltimore. Pitch. Inside 1-0. and Oh, smacky to likey. Itty to subby. Matt Miller Brown. How you doing, Matt Miller Brown? How you doing? RSU. What's going on, brother? There's a base hit to center field. Bader picks it up. Runners would hold. It'll be first and third, one away. And nobody knows what the shit is happening. Adam, the Yankees can't get Adam Frazier out. Everybody else gets him out. Nobody, nobody in the Yankees gets Adam Frazier out. The boy Wanda says he got some weed if everybody wants it. I think Seve needs it. I think Seve needs it. I mean, you got to take this guy out at this point. This is sickening. Let Debbie Garcia come in and throw three innings at this point. I mean, this is this is just beyond disgusting. He got nothing. Maybe Pops is right. Maybe Boone is scared of him. <laughs> Maybe Boone's scared of him. I don't know. Westberg now hitting 321 in the season. Two and one third innings, nine hits. And there is Debbie Garcia, folks. I'm sorry. That's Albert Abreu. My bad. Albert Abreu warming up. Albert Abreu warming up. Thank you for being a friend. My brother Ruben with the super duper duper chat. I'm going to get to a one second Ruben. Give me, uh, let me call this pitch. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Sevy was a guy I really wanted to be legendary, to be a legendary Yankee. But I'm so over him now. I'm sick of all these waste of money players. They can't feel, they can't hit, and we know they can't stay healthy. Facts. <laughs> there is a tennis ball in right field. I mean, that's the that's the ball that Sevy's been using all day. They're hitting it like a tennis ball. They're hitting it like a tennis ball. First and third, one away. What's up, Griminator? How you doing, my guy? How you doing, my guy? Count is 0-2 on Urias, who is trying to add another run. The 0-2 incoming. Pitch. Did he go? Yes, he did. He struck him out. Well, that's going to be two away. And that'll give Gunnar Henderson, who's two for two today, another chance up there. Jesse Cast. 
Hello, NYY News TV. I enjoy listening to your live videos while at work when I can. I'm not always able to view the video. Jesse, I appreciate that, my guy. Thank you so much for tuning in. Michael Sabia, how you doing? How are you doing? Mike, Mike. What's going on, Mike, Mike? How you doing, man? Here's Gunnar Henderson, two for two on a day. Pitches a swing and a miss. And the count is 0 and 1. Hit on the ground, foul. 0 and 2. Well, I guess we're running up there anyway. <laughs> The 0-2 incoming to Gunnar Henderson. Two for two today with a home run. Baltimore up four to nothing. Nine hits already for Baltimore. They're having themselves a nice little day. The 0-2. Hit on the ground. Base hit. <laughs> the 10th hit given up from Severino. It is five to nothing Baltimore. Holy shit. I said Seve needed a dominant outing. Somebody said, ah, he just has to be good. None of us are getting our wish today. Smacky to likey, hitting these subby folks, and he's taking them out. <laughs> what a performance from Severino. Let's take a look at his line. <sighs> Heartburn, agita, indigestion. Only thing missing is fucking diarrhea at this point. 2.2 innings pitched, 10 hits, 5 earned runs, 1 walk, 3 strikeouts. His ERA is now approaching 7. And by the way, by the way, the runners on first and third belong to him. So poor Albert Abreu's coming in now to try to make a little something something happen. We are screwed, folks. My lord. Oh, this is ugly. This is about as ugly as it gets, folks. Smacky to like, you hitting the subby. JC, what's going on? Freddy Krueger is in the chat, and he says, we... <laughs> Welcome to the Yankees Nightmare. Welcome to the Yankee Nightmare. I am your host, the devil. <laughs> you like hits? It only comes against your pictures. Fuck you. <laughs> Oh, God, guys, you have to laugh a little bit. You got to laugh a little bit, folks. You got. <laughs> oh, Derek, thank you, man. I. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. And, <laughs> and the count is 1-0. Oh. I'll tell you what, man. If my voice lasts this game, I'll be, I'll be shocked. I'll have to rest up. Wow. The 1-0 oh incoming. <laughs> Call strike. Count is now 1-1. One and one. Thank you for being a friend. Derek Q, Pete, do you think Seve is tipping his pitches? I mean, he's doing something. It's obvious. I mean, the problem is, too, he is kind of right over the plate. Everything he's throwing is, is typically right over the middle of the plate. So, I mean, what's going to happen? Inside, and the count is 2-1. and one. It's his last start before the All-Star break. He's been absolutely terrible. The Yankees are going to have to make up their mind. 
they're going to have to make up their mind what they're going to do with him. I mean, at this point, you really can't bring him back. I mean, you can't bring him back. There's going to be a base hit. Volpe can't make the play. It is six to nothing. Baltimore, great attempt by Anthony Volpe. Just gets a piece of leather on it. Can't make the play. Six nothing Baltimore. Might have been a little late on that. Well, let's see. Now nah, it was basically there. That's just a good attempt. Bounced out of his hand. Nothing you could do about that. That's a great attempt by Volpe. That's a great attempt. What could you do? Six nothing now. I had to bring up Anthony Santander. 11 hits for Baltimore. This could be a very, very bad game. It already is, but I'm talking about even worse. Oh, man. Big Buddy. What is going on, Big Buddy? How you doing, man? Tomorrow night is actually Sevy Bobblehead night. I would I would refuse it. There's a call strike. Count as one and one. Oh, I thought Chris Perez Jr. said they should just put down Sevy. This season in nine starts a 7.17 ERA. 11 homers in 42 innings. That is in fucking sane. That is in. You could have any young pitcher in the Yankees minor league system. No joke. Guys in A ball would pitch better than this. That is absolutely crazy. Crazy. Inside almost hits him. And the count. Oh, it did hit him. It did hit him. First and second now. Actually, base is loaded. Excuse me. Base is loaded for O'Hearn. Let's see this one again if it actually got him. It did get his foot. It bounced back into the glove. Definitely hit him. Oh, folks, I tell you. Base is loaded for O'Hearn. You may feel this game's out of reach already. O'Hearn's looking to put the nail in the coffin, let me tell you. DeMarco Lee, Orioles fan, how you doing? Is the slump over? Is it just the Yankees? It might just be the Yankees, my guy, to be honest. I, I don't want to break it to you. CWE, what's up? It might just be the Yankees. It might just be the Yankees. That, that's all I'm going to That's all I'm gonna say. Pitches a call strike. Gets the call on that one. The count is one and one. 7.17 ERA for Seve, 42 and two-third innings. Batters are hitting 315 to slugging 560. You don't see stuff like this ever. You don't see stuff like this. Check this swing. Did he go? No, he did not. Count is two and one on O'Hearn. Michael Shin. What is going on, my guy? It hit his back foot. It hit his back foot. You could see the ball go up to the glove. Bounce right in there. Swing and a miss. And the count is two and two. Great pitch right there. Great location. A little Bob Ross action. Happy painting. God bless. 16 likes away from 200, guys. Let's get 400 today. Let's get the 400 likes today. Come on, folks. Pitch is line. There's a base hit the right field. One run is in. Two runs are in. It is eight to nothing. Baltimore. You shit kicking, stinky horseman, horse smelling motherfucker, you. You suck, you jackass. El Diablo. Carl, what's going on, my guy? It is eight to nothing, Baltimore. These cats got 12 hits. We're not even done with three innings yet. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Pitch to Mullins is a swing and a miss. Count is 0 1. Guys, when you go to bed tonight, say a little prayer for me. I got to call this shit. Say a little prayer for me, folks, if you don't mind. Just drop a little prayer for Pete's sanity. Pitch fouled away. And the count is 
Thank you, Anthony Garcia. <laughs> Thank you, Anthony Garcia. I'll be sure not to stand up. The O2. Hit on the ground. Volpe there. Fires. And the nightmare inning is over. <sighs> Guys, we are living through a Yankee nightmare right now. Inning is over. T85 backup. How you doing, my guy? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Well, it hasn't been easy, as they say. It hasn't been easy at all, let me tell you. Buffer, what's going on, brother? How you doing? 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 Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. This is tough, man. Jack, I appreciate you, my guy. Thank you so much, Jack. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will go down with the ship. I tell you what, man. I'll go down singing. I'll go down calling the game. It don't matter to me. I will go down with the ship. There's nothing else. I love the Yankees. I am a Yankee. I'm a Yankee. Okay, that's all there is to it, guys. I will happily go down with the ship. Yes, I'll complain. Yes, I'll scream. Yes, I'll yell. Yes, I'll be angry. But I will go down with the ship. Like the band was playing down on the Titanic, that will be me. The toot be frisk shivering. The two two pitch. Hey, <laughs> struck him out and go away. And that's it. <laughs> That'll be it. That'll be it. If this was the 09 Yankees, they'd have a chance in this game. They'd have a chance in this game. They'd be, they'd be ready to play. They'd be ready to play. 98 had a chance to come back in this one. This club? I don't know about that. I don't know about that, folks. I don't know about that. Pitch is a call strike. Count as 0-1. Let's see if the Yankees got a fight in them. Let's, let's fucking go for it. Let's see if they got a fight in them. Come on now. Come on now. Come on, Yankees. Have a fight. Yeah, Frank, how you doing, Frank? How you doing, Frank Varela? How you doing, Frank Varela? One and one count on IKF. IKF at 262 on the year. It's been much better as of late. Much better second season. Corey. What's up, my guy? The 1-1 one, one is fouled away, and the count is 1-2. and two. Dr. Hitskins. What's up, man? <clears throat> the 1-2 incoming to IKF pitch is fouled away, just gets a piece of it. Kyle Bradish, who's been one of the better pitchers for the Baltimore Orioles this year, has an ain't nothing lead to work with. And the Yankees have a lot of shutting the Orioles down to do and trying to score. The 1 2 to IKF. Pitch. Hit on the ground to second base. And there's one away. Kid Clientelli says, Pete, what a waste of another year. Got to make some trades, man. They got to make some moves. They got to make some moves, some big moves. Some big moves and quick is what they have to do, man. If the Yankees don't put a facelift on this offense, they're in very serious trouble. Because I don't see Sevy as a guy that is going to lead them to winning. They need to have that one-two punch. You need Rodon to be good. No matter how good the Yankees pitching has been, there's a strike 0-2 on Trevi. You need Rodon to be good to be right there with Garrett Cole for the Yankees to have a shot. And then if they could do a facelift on the, the, the lineup, which I don't know if Brian Cashman is creative enough. Swing and a miss. What a joke. I guess he fouled it away, so the count remains 0-2. Mike Bragg, what's up, my guy? How you doing? How you doing? 
Guys, my plan is to be at Camden Yards on July 30th. If anybody's going to be around that area or at that game, I'll be happy to say hello. Count as one and two on Trevi. I'll be happy to say hello. <clears throat> the one, two, incoming pitch. Inside, he swings at a pitch that was easily a ball. Fires over. Got him. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> Lord have mercy. And there's two away. Pitch is about six feet inside. Here's Anthony Volpe, 0 for 1 on the day. Volpe gets jumped back up to the leadoff spot. We'll see how long that lasts with a Yankee lineup. You never know because it's different every day. First pitch is low, 1 and 0. I'll be honest with you, Ra. I am not shocked that Sevy got smacked around. I, I am not shocked at all that Sevy got smoked. I'm not. He's not the same guy. He's been terrible. Here's the call strike, and the count is one and one. Jonathan Alvarez, what is going on, my guy? Happy birthday, Jonathan Alvarez. It is your 37th birthday. God bless you, brother. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday from everybody here at NYY News TV to you, my friend. Count is one and two on Anthony Volpe. Nobody on for the Yankees here in the bottom of the third inning. Bases empty. Eight nothing. Baltimore leads. The one two from Radish. Pitch is low. Two and two. Smack you to likey, folks. Hitty the subby. Let's get 400 likes today. We're at 206 right now. We need less than 200. Let's get there, guys. 2-2 two, two to Volpe. He struck him out. Well, not a cute inning. We'll go to the top of the fourth. Orioles coming on up. As I like to say to you guys all the time, I hope everybody here is doing well. I hope you guys are enjoying at least game season live. I know we're not enjoying the game, but... Hopefully you guys are enjoying what I am doing over here. I appreciate you guys. Fritz. What's going on, Fritz? How you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing, my guy? Hi, 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 hi. Give me a second, folks. Let me just see something here. Okay. Corey says football season starts soon. Knicks Nation, what's up, man? I get it. I completely get it. Certainly has been tough, no doubt about it, man. What an up and down season for the Yanks. I mean, what a real up and down season. They've had Quan Chi. What's up, man? What's up, Quan Chi? Marco. How you doing, man? Can we talk some Juan Soto? I mean, I've talked so much about Soto, man. There's no guarantee, one, he's going to be traded. I'm just saying, if I would actually call up and entice San Diego on a deal, I'd offer quite a bit for him. I would offer quite a bit for him. Um, I just feel like he's such a big piece to the Yanks if their pitching stays in there the way it has been. And um, you put him in that lineup and then maybe do some DFAs and call some guys up. Get Peraza in there every day if you don't trade him. Uh, maybe get Rortvet up here. I mean, the Yankees really got to understand it's time to do a facelift on this offense. The offense desperately needs a facelift. Pitch is high. The count is 1-0 and oh on Colton Cowser. Kowser 0 for 2 today at his first Major League hit last night. <laughs> Guys, we are 8 subscribers away from 17,250. Let's try to get there, guys. I appreciate that. Let's try to get there. 
The 2-0 incoming to Colton Kowser. The pitch is low. Oh, man, Jonathan. Thank you for being a friend. Jonathan, brother, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate that. It says, you're earning it. The pitch is outside. He says, you are earning it tonight. You're a Yankee. Thanks for the spirit and enthusiasm. Happy I found your channel. Jonathan Rivera, man, that is far, far too nice. God bless you, brother, and I thank you so much. Um, doing what I love, my guys. Don't ever feel like I'm, you know, I I'm doing something I don't enjoy doing. I am doing something I absolutely love. I love calling the Yankee games, and I'm happy that, you know, maybe I'm becoming a little bit of a voice of the Yankees, of a new generation. It's fun to think about. It's fun to think about. I appreciate it, guys. Runner on first base as Kowser walks. That'll bring up Jordan Westberg. And guys, by the way, too, Baltimore, all these young kids calling up the Baltimore Orioles. I mean, they're all really frigging good. You guys also notice all of their guys don't have these giant uppercut swings. They're all just kind of leveled. Leveled swing, line drives. Yankees get these guys and they're making them swing uppercuts to the moon. It's unbelievable. You know what I mean? It's unbelievable. Pitch is outside and the count is 3-0. and oh. buckle, this, buckle your seatbelts, folks. We'll be here all night. Buckle your seatbelts. We'll be here all night. And thank you, everybody, for your kind words. I greatly appreciate it. I really do. I really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. He walked them. <sighs> First and second, nobody out. Baltimore might put up 20 today. Baltimore might put up 20 today at this point. We are here in the top of the fourth inning, guys. It is 8-0. Albert Abreu has walked two batters in a row. Two batters in a row he has walked. With the score being what it is. We are seven subs away from today's goal, 17,250. As we are working our way to mission, 20,000. First pitch is a finally a call strike. It's a little round of applause. And the batter's Adam Frazier, two for two today pitch. Popped up. In the air, who's going to be there? Bader will make the catch. Fires it in. Runner will tag up. It'll be first and third for Baltimore, one away. Good base running. Good base running. Great base running. Jonathan Alvarez. Thank you for being a friend. Again, Jonathan, happy birthday, brother. I appreciate the super chat. Enjoying my day poolside, grilling some steaks, and now listening to you, Pete. You are the GOAT. How can I be the GOAT, Jonathan, if you are the GOAT? Thank you, my guy. Pick off attempt at first. He's back. Uh, Burt Ballsack. <laughs> what's going on, Burt Ballsack? How you doing? Jimmy Z, what's going on, my guy? Carlos. What's up, Carlos? I might have said hi to you already. If not, hi again. Michael Lasanti. How you doing? How you doing? He's going at Judge. Saying Judge needs to get his ass on that field, damn it. And Ben Rortvet just homered for the Yankees in AAA. I don't know what they're doing. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I really don't get it. I don't understand it. 1-0. Batter being Ramon Urias. As my game just decided to go back to the beginning of the game. It's, I think it's uh, the baseball gods telling me. That's enough, Pete. <laughs> That's enough, Pete. No more. Oh, man. Fouled away to count as one and one. Baltimore up eight to nothing. They got runners on first and third. One away. Estevan Floriel is homered in AAA. So has Ben Rortvet. But for some reason, they're not up here. They're not doing it for the Yankees for some reason. Jon Snow. You know nothing, Jon Snow. How you doing, man? Fouled away to count as one and two. 
Yankees want to win the Triple A. Yeah, that's right. Peraza, Everson Pereira. You know, Hirsch, um, they're loaded with talent, that Triple A, man. And we just don't uh we don't we don't call nobody up. Uh Philo, how is um Peraza doing in that game? And is he playing shortstop again? Because they never put him at third base anymore. Two and two count on Urias, the number nine hitter for the Baltimore Orioles. It's about to get back up there for Gunnar Henderson, who's three for three today. Two two. Fouled away. We'll do it again. Crackle nuts. How you doing? Joe S. What's going on, my guy? Christopher Briggs. What's up? Yeah, Sevy is absolutely fucked. Absolutely fucked. The 2 2 incoming. Line to right field. There's a base hit. One run is in. It is nine to nothing, Baltimore. First and second, one away. Yeah, they're showing the fight. Yeah, they're showing the fight with a fucking team. A real team with a guys, with a bunch of guys with balls the size of cantaloupes. What are the Yankees doing? Shit. Who is this team gonna fight? Who are these Yankees gonna fight? Let's be real here for a second. Stanton's made a glass. Aaron Judge got no toe. Bader's made a glass. Everybody's fucked up. Now Abreu might be injured. Who the fuck knows? Who are they going to fight? Your sister's tit is who they're going to fight. El Diablo. El Diablo. El Diablo. Abreu, just admit it. You don't want to be in the game no more. You had enough. Just say it. Give up. Go ahead, get the fuck out of here. Get him out of here. Put him in a fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Put Come him on. in the bedroom. Warming up for the Yankees is Davey Garcia. And Abreu's going to stay in. Super V. How you doing, Super V? How you doing, guys? How you doing, everybody? God bless you guys. God bless. Oh, Anthony Medina. I love you. I'm the best around. Nothing's gonna ever keep you down. I'm the best. My brother, Anthony Medina, says, Thank you, Pete, for making this bearable. My friend, you absolutely are the GOAT. And damn it, Pete, I'm with you. I will go down with the ship, too. Love our Yankees in the good and definitely in the bad. We're in this together, my brother. Yes, Medina. We are in this together. First pitch is low, 1-0. Thank you so much, Anthony. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, Medina. Thank you so much. That's very kind of you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you, Medina. You are the best, my friend. Pitch is low, two, and oh. I mean, you see the pitcher is, is stretching his arm out. Just come out and go, you're done. Call Davey Garcia and say, kid, look. You got to just go out there and throw the fucking baseball. I mean, you got to go out there and give us three innings at least. I mean, this is ridiculous, man. 2-0 on Gunnar Henderson, who's 3-for-3 three three on the day. Pitch. This one hit in the air to center field and deep. Forget about it. Gunnar Henderson goes moonshot. Holy shit. Gunnar Henderson. A three-run jack job. And I mean a fucking bomb. All the way up the Yankees asshole. And out their mouth. It is 12 to nothing. You shit kicking stinky horseman horse smelling motherfucker, you. Call strike. Nope, it's a ball.
Do we got a distance how on how far that ball went? Does anybody have any idea how far that baseball went? Because I really feel like that might have been close to 500 feet. That had to be a good 460. Gunnar Henderson and Josh Young right now are definitely your fighters for the rookie of the year. That kid is going to beat the fuck out the Yankees for ages. This one crushed in the air foul. And the count remains one and two. Albert Abreu's dying out there. I don't know why they're doing this to the kid. Just take him out of the fucking game. He's destroyed. Gunnar Henderson is four for four today with two homers, five RBIs, now hitting 249 with an 813 OPS. Do we have an update on how far that ball went? Anybody? The one two is outside. IKF out there checking his glove. The 2-2. Two -two. Fouled away. We'll do it again. Smacky to likey. Hitty the subby, folks. We're five subs away from today's goal. Thank you, guys. Keith, thank you so much for subbing, my friend. I appreciate you. Come join us in the chat. Count remains 2-2. Two and two. 416, that's it? I thought that ball was a lot further than that. 416, wow. I thought it was way more than that. Wow. Pitch is low. And the count is 3 and 2. Outside, he walked him. I mean, when are you going to take Abreu out of this game? I mean, come on now, man. This is pathetic. You're going to have another performance, and here comes Boone. <laughs> Abreu's done. Josh Donaldson or IKF will likely be pitching again. Albert Abreu comes off the mound. The kid is done. Top of the fourth inning. It is 12-0. Davey Garcia coming in. El Diablo. You know, it's not what you want. You know, it's not what you want, folks. My God. I have never... What a... What a ball game. What a ball game. Guys, you got 243 on the likes. Do me a favor. Smacky that likey. Hitty the subby. We're five subs away from today's goal. Maybe we could surpass that by a lot. That would be very nice. If you guys really want to help NYY News TV, do me a favor and share this out to friends and family. Tell them they should subscribe. That would be awesome. We appreciate everything you guys do. Thank you guys for being here with me and sitting through this madness with me. And again... Everybody who contributed via Super Chat, I greatly, greatly thank you guys. You guys got to understand that is what makes this channel allowed to continue to run the way it is by your guys' support. So I thank you all so much for that. Uh, Mark, Mark, thank you so much for subbing to NYY News TV. My God. <laughs> thank you, brother. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Little Pedro is coming in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody's the next Pedro, the next Roger Clemens, and then they become the next Keigawa. <laughs> then they become the next Keigawa. That's it. Oh, man. Gunnar Henderson is going to be a gamer for years to come. It looked like Abreu might have had a couple of tears. Yeah, it did. Well, here is Davey Garcia. He was not doing good in AAA. This season for the Yankees, one game, three innings, one earned run. Two Ks. But he did get a save that day as he went the final three. 
the O1. Hi. And account is one and one. Batter being Anthony Santander. Chair side chat with Eric. Eric, thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. The one one is lined to right field. That's going to go to the gap. Off the bottom of the wall. McKinney gets it in. It is now second and third. One away. And the batter will be O'Hearn. Thank you for being a friend. Jimmy, my brother, thank you so much for the super chat, my guy. I greatly appreciate you. I greatly appreciate you. Here's O'Hearn. Pitch the Ryan O'Hearn is high, 1-0. 12-0 Baltimore. I said 20. They might get it. They might get the 20 today. They really might. Val, how you doing, Val? How you doing, Val? The 1-0 incoming. Inside, 2-0. 2-0. And o. Two and o. Hey, Philo, you said that um, Rort vet homered today, correct? Swing and a miss. Oof, my God, it took his helmet off his head. <laughs> O'Hearn oh, Hearn was looking to homer right there. My goodness. Baltimore wants that 20 runs. They want those 21 runs right now. He did, homer. Thank you, Philo. Pitch is low. And the count is 3-1 and one on Ryan O'Hearn. Swing and a miss. Count is now three and two. Line in the air to left field. Right there is IKF. Makes the catch. Fires it home. Scoring on the sack fly, it is 13 to nothing Baltimore. Thank you so much, everybody that is here. I appreciate you guys. Bernie. How you doing, Pete? Couldn't watch anymore, so I had to come on and get your take. Bernie, man, it's, uh, you know, I don't know what you could really say about this today, Bernie. It's uh, Luis Severino didn't give the Yankees a chance. And, you know, the Yankees, unfortunately, you know, are not a team right now that could get any offense going on a consistent basis. They've been doing this for years now, and, you know, they're, 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 not, they're not going about it the way they should, in my opinion. The 01 is low. Jimmy Z, I mean, look, you know, uh, we can continue to talk about this all the time. And, you know, I'm a content creator, so I'm going to say it more than most people. It's a no-brainer to call those guys up. This, this, this team needs a, 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 a wake-up call. This one pop foul, and the count remains one, is now one and two. This team needs a wake-up call. They need, they need somebody. They need to call some guys up and go, at the end of the day, folks, these are the guys that are going to play. If you're not playing, these other guys are going to play. You got to make some eye-opening moves and go, oh, shit, they're serious. And this team is just, they just let it ride. It is what it is. It is what it is. One, two, is hit on the ground a second. Fields, fires, got him. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Yankees coming up. Torres, Rizzo, Bader. Guys, give me a second. I am going to take my first break of the day. I'll be right back.
Smacky to likey, hitty to subby. Okay. We are back into the action. Guys, once this uh, half inning is over, I got to run back up real quick. I got to grab my tea. I had to put the hot water on real quick. Make myself a cup of tea. Relax the rest of this one. Yeah, I mean, if there's that argument again uh, with Estevan Floriel, the kid has 54 at-bats over three Major League Baseball seasons. That is absolutely insane. If you think that that's, you know, you could just judge the kid as, hey, you can't hit at the majors. That's insane. That is absolutely insane to think that way. It's crazy to think that way, actually. The old one to Glaber is low, one and one. I'm not saying that Estevan Floriel is going to be some unbelievable player. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying he's going to be an all-star. But what we do know that he can do is catch the ball. <laughs> we do know he could catch the baseball. That is something we know. Yankees don't have guys doing that right now. This one popped up a mile high. And Gunnar Henderson makes the catch. And there's one away. One out. That'll bring up Anthony Rizzo. Anthony. 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 Guys, remember, in the bottom of the seventh, we will honor a veteran. We're honoring a veteran all of this month. Every single game season live, we're going to try to honor a veteran as long as you guys keep sending your pictures to us of a family member or yourself. Got a, quite a few, so I definitely got enough until, you know, after the All-Star break. But send it to TV at yahoo.com if you have not. No spaces. NYYNewsTV at Yahoo.com. Darius Powell. How you doing, my guy? How are you doing? How you doing? Mr. Potato, Joe S. Naughty by nature. What's going on, my guy? There's a call strike. Count as two and one. One away for the Yankees here in the bottom of the fourth inning. They're down 13 to nothing. They are down A-Rod to nothing. 13-0. <clears throat> the 2-1 to Rizzo fouled away count is now 2-2 two and two. Kyle Bradish out there just dealing he ain't worried about shit he's out there just dealing right now 130 likes away guys from today's goal we can do it I want 400 likes today that would be awesome hey struck him out Oh, mamma mia. Two away. Yankees got one hit so far. That is correct. Pete, do you think the Yankees should add a starter at the deadline? It wouldn't be a terrible idea. I know pitching's not their only problem, but I'll tell you this. Their offense needs a facelift. I've been saying that for a while. I'll continue to talk about it, but their offense needs a facelift. No doubt about it. 
They got guys in AAA they can use. They don't want to for whatever reason. Ben Rortvet is a better defensive catcher than Higgy or just as good. And he's a better hitter than both Trevino and Higashioka. Not even close. The 1-0 is inside. And on top of that, he's also finally healthy. But the Yankees say, hey, no big deal. Win a title in AAA, kid. Win titles in AAA. That's where we do it. The 2-0 to Bader from Brightish is outside. And the count is 3 and oh, He don't want to do that. He don't want to do that. You know he doesn't want to do that. Guys, look at that. We are one subscriber away from today's goal. Thank you, guys. Keep smacking that subby. Send it to your friends and family. There's a call strike. Count is three and one. John Cooper. What's up, man? M Mac. Yankees will get Otani. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. He walks him. Oh, baby. Walk on by. Count is 1 and 0 oh on shitty skunk mullet. Everybody's favorite. Rick. How you doing, pitch? Low, 2 and 0. Oh. Kyle Bradish out here with a 13 nothing lead. I'd be throwing fastballs right down to Johnson right now just to get me through five innings at this point. Matthew Ryan, thank you so much for subbing. Thank you, Matthew. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The 2-0 incoming pitch is high, 3-0. and oh, Bradish has completely lost the strike zone here. Wow. Wow. Honor a veteran and DFA Donaldson. Yeah, that sounds great. I wish I, I, wish I could actually do that and just get him out of here. That would be nice. The pitch. He walked him. Oh, baby. Walk on by. Well, maybe Bradish is just fucking around with the Yankees right now. Let me put a couple of guys on base, then I'll pitch. Here comes the pitching coach for the Orioles, probably looking at Bradish and saying, hey, Kyle, do me a favor. You see the score up there? What's that score say? 13 to nothing. Throw strikes. And then he leaves. That's exactly what I would do. Baseball highlight reels. What is going on, my guy? You are an Orioles fan. You are welcome here. We welcome every fan of every team here at NYY News TV. First and second, two outs. The batter is Billy McKinney. Yankees looking to get on the board at least. Or will they have the greatest comeback of all time? I <laughs> gotcha. Uh, the pitch from Bradish. Call strike. And the count is 0 and 1. Johnny Almonte. My brother. What is going on, fam fam? How you doing, man? How you doing, Patrick? What's going on, Patrick? How you doing, man? ELT. My guy. The 01. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2 on Billy McKinney, who's starting to return to Earth a little bit. After he had a great start with the Yanks. Gonna find out what's up with Bowers, too. He's gonna go for an MRI, so Bowers might actually be headed to the IL, maybe. Hopefully not. Hey! Struck him out. 
And that'll end the inning. They just said to each other, I just wanted to make them get a little happy, put a couple guys on that I was going to punch them out, you know. <laughs> guys, I'm running right back. I'm going to go grab my tea. Give me two seconds. A smacky the likey, hitty the subby. David Elias. What is going on, my guy? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Smacky the likey, hitty the subby. All righty then. Well, we're back in action, folks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Here's Garcia. The pitch is outside. 1-0. Ghost. What's going on, man? How you doing? How you doing? Pitch is way outside. 2-0. <laughs> oh, oh, Nothing's going Johnny Amante says, Pete should be drinking liquor, not water, tea, or coffee. From this team's performance, Yankees should be sellers, not buyers. Let me tell you something right now. I might, I, every now and then, I spike that coffee a little bit. <laughs> every now and then. Nelson. My guy, Nelson. How you doing, fam, fam? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Lorraine. What up, Lorraine? The 2-1. He hey! swings and misses. 2-2. Two two. Smack it to like you, folks. Hitty that subby. I'm trying for 400 subbies today. See if we can get there. That'll be nice. 2-2 two two is outside high. And the count is 3-2 and two on Colton Kowser, who is the only Oriole hitter without a hit today. Kowser is the only guy without a hit today. Sevy bobbleheads getting thrown in the field tomorrow. That would actually be kind of comical. Michael K would go nuts. How dare they do this? Oh my God, these fans are terrible. Pitch is fouled away. Count remains three and two. Don 63. What's going on, my guy? How you doing? That is correct, George. That is correct. The 3 2 to Colton Kowser. He walked them. So the leadoff man is on for Baltimore. They are looking for that 20 spot. Let me tell you right now. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you so much, Lorraine. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And a little more, a uh, thank you. And a little more. Thank you. <clears throat> Hit in the air to left field. Right there is IKF. He makes the catch. And there's one away.
One second, guys. Oops. Let me respond to this real quick. Okay. Runner on first base, one away. Here's Adam Frazier. Pitch to Frazier is a call strike. Count as 0-1. Company K. That's basically what it is. That's basically what it is. The 01 is outside. Count is one and one. The 1-1. One, one. Call strike on the corner. And the count is one and two. Frazier doesn't like it. Who gives a shit? <laughs> I mean, call some damn strikes. Terry, what is going on? Terry, I actually just got the Manscaped products in today. So I'm going to be sending that, um, the nose trimmer out to you and Ra Thompson. Those are going to be sent out this week. I just got them in today. So thank you, my guy. Appreciate you sending those babies on out. <clears throat> Eight likes away from 300, folks. Let's get there. The one, two. In the air to left field, down the line. That's a fair ball. Adam Frazier with yet another hit off of the New York Yankees. He got three hits today. He doesn't stop hitting. Second and third, one away for the Orioles. Luca, what's going on, brother? How you doing, fam? Luca Legend in the house. Luca Legend in the house. Pitch is fouled away. Batter is Ramon Urias. He's one for three on a day with an RBI single. <clears throat> Randy, how you doing, Randy? What's going on, my guy? Joe, fouled away. 0-2. Oh, man. Happy in PA. What's up? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Tyler. What's going on, brother? Good to see you. Pitch. Foul the way. We'll do the O2 yet again. Smacky to likey. Hitty the subby, folks. As we are working our way to 17.3K. Tell you guys what, when we hit that 20K number, I might get I might get a little emotional. I gotta be real with you guys here. Pitches fouled away. We'll do the O2 yet again. Davey Garcia has does not have a put away pitch. He does not have a put away pitch. You gotta let guys put the ball in play and hope his defense backs him up. <clears throat> Josh Tusabe, what's up, my man? How you doing? At least we're better than the Mets, isn't everybody? The 0-2 is popped up a mile high. Is that going to stay in play? DJ LeMayu over. Nobody's there and it drops in. Oh, my God. I'm fucking done. I don't fight. I, I can't fucking take this no more. I mean, this is get them off the field, Boone. First one and two again on Urias. Pitch. Pops this one up. Is somebody going to catch this? Coming on is Bader. Still coming in. Short center field. Makes the catch. Nobody's tagging. And there's two away. Tomorrow's starters, Jamison Tyone. Former Yankee having a horrible year. Pitched to a 7 ERA. Basically, Luis Severino. 
will go against Carlos Rodan. Myself and Derek from NYY Recaps will be calling that game tomorrow. Low. Here's Gunnar Henderson, who's four for four. He has another RBI chance. Pitch hit on the ground to first. Field it by LeMayu. That will end the inning. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Yankees are coming on up. Pasha Noble. What's up, my guy? How you doing? Thank you for being here. Appreciate you. Jeffrey. Yeah, I got to. If Jameson Tyone shuts the Yankees down tomorrow, forget about it, man. We're done. <laughs> we, I mean, my goodness, guys pitching to a 70 RA. Luis Severino would probably shut us down right now, to be fair. So it wouldn't shock me too much. <clears throat> wouldn't shock me at all, let me tell you. Mm, 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 mm. That is good. That is good. That is good. Ultra Cowboy. What's up, my guy? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Mr. Liger Strike. At least Rodon will be here tomorrow. I don't know what to be happy about. That gives you a little something, something, right? Fernandez says, congrats on the climbing subbies. Yes, my guy, this year was Mission 20K. I think we'll get there potentially sometime in August. Would be nice. Maybe uh, maybe early September. It's, we'll see. We'll see. Either way, I'm just happy. I'm, I'm happy about the growth of NYY News TV and what we're doing here. Poon is a bigger puppet than Lester. <laughs> Facts. Daryl Leone, what is going on, my guy? Appreciate you. <clears throat> Orioles up 13 to nothing. 13, 16, and 0. 0, 1, and 0. Here's DJ LeGround out pitch. And he grounds out. <laughs> Oh, you can't make this up. <laughs> oh, my God. You cannot make this shit up, man. Mike Rocky, thank you, man. You can't make this shit up. You cannot make this up, brother. I tell you right now. You can't make it up. You cannot make it up, man. <clears throat> Pitch is a call strike to IKF to count his own one. DJ LeGround out. Harrison Bader is massaging the back of his head with a massage gun. Pitch hit in the air to center field. Colton Kowser coming in, makes the catch. And just like that, there's two away. You suck, you jackass. <clears throat> two outs. And here's Jose Trevino, who really can't hit, and he's having a tough time fielding this year, in my opinion. He's having a tough time fielding, in my opinion, also. Pitch to Trevi is low, 1-0. The 1-0 incoming pitch. Call strike. And the count is one, uh, one and one. Yes, Network again messing up their pitch count. The one one incoming to Trevino pitch. Hit on the ground. That'll end the inning. <laughs> inning over. Yankees doing Yankee things. They don't give a poop. They're not going to make no changes. They're not going to make no changes. Ben Rortvet is chilling in AAA. I have no idea why, but he is. 
Ben Rorvet just chilling in AAA, doing nothing. Doing absolutely nothing. Just down there dying. Just down there dying, man. And once again, the Yankees getting sloppy in the outfield. We've been saying this all year. It's just the craziest thing to me that we as fans could watch this club and easily point out what the problems are. And they just refuse, refuse to make any changes whatsoever. Uh, it, it, is, it is beyond shocking to me. It is beyond shocking. And I'm always going to care, like I said, because I'm just a Yankee fan. And by the way, Ben Rordvet just hit his second home run of the night. Ben Rordvet just hit his second home run of the night, folks. I'm going to tweet that out. One second, guys. All right, back to the ball game. Pitch from Garcia is inside one and two and zero. Oh, excuse me, <clears throat> two and zero. Oh. Thirteen and nothing, Baltimore. Two and one count now on Adley Rutschman. The two one. Outside. He walks him. Leadoff runner is on again for Baltimore. That is Adley Rutschman. Here's Anthony Santander. Trust me, guys. Baltimore wants that 20 number today. They want that 20. Pitch. Santander grounds it foul. The count is 0 and 1. The 0-1, high, and the count is 1-1. One and one. <laughs> Devi Walt Garcia, yeah? Sevy is on Manoa's level. It feels like it right now. Well, the Yankees tomorrow face somebody that's been pitching like Sevy. We'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see what happens. The 1-1 one, one is popped up foul. The count is now 1-2 and two on Santander. Top of the sixth inning, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. Thank you so much. It's been a great game season live. Pitch. Hi. Two and two. <clears throat> Santander two for three today. On deck is Ryan O'Hearn, who is three for three. With four ribbies. And batting 310 now on the season. My goodness. My goodness. The two, two. Foul the way. That is a foul ball. Wow. Got lucky on that one, did the Yankees. Just misses a double down the line. Michael, what's up, man? 
The 2-2 incoming pitch. Foul the way. We'll do it again. Again, Davey Garcia does not have an out pitch, folks. It is as clear as day. Davey Garcia does not have an out pitch. Yankees are very complacent. They're a very complacent club. 2-2 two -two is in the dirt. And the count is 3-2. and two. The Yankees are a very complacent team. They are more than okay with a game like this, knowing that they're, even if they lose this game, they're eight games above 500 and in the wild card. That's the biggest problem. They're very complacent. Winning teams aren't that way, folks. This one has popped up. Ranging back is Glaber. Now calling him off is McKinney. He makes the catch, one away. But um, yeah, uh, the Yankees are just a uh, uh, Metrolax. What's up, man? The Ronnie, what's going on, fam? The Yankees are a very, very complacent team, and um, for them, like I said, they know they're just in it, so it's all good, and that's exactly what it is. They're just in it. It's all fine. It's all okay. Pitch is fouled away, and for them. That's okay. That's that's we're playing well enough to get in. I told you guys, they have become a just get in organization, not a go for it, not a win it all, not a win it all at all cost, not a urgency type organization uh, like teams like the Braves are. Um, they have become a just try to get in and figure out what happens. Not a push, not a push. Change, change, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. It's not who the Yankees are anymore, unfortunately. Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> one one is fouled away. Thank you so much, Nate. Says Pete. I just wanted to say that watching your videos the past several years is a pleasure. I wish you and everyone at NY News TV nothing but success in the future. God bless, brother Nate. Thank you so much. And I know Nate, you go all the way back. Nate goes all the way back to the car videos. Uh, I, I remember. I remember. The one, two. He struck him out. Big out right there. For Davey Garcia. Finally gets a punch out. How to bring up Cedric Mullins. Runner on first base. Two away. Pitch to Mullins is a swing and a miss. And the count is 0 and 1. The 0 1 is inside. Watching Ben Rort vet's second home run now. My man got great power to left field. That's the other thing I love about Ben Rortvet. Rortvet is a lefty batter, but he got great power to the opposite field. He's one of those guys that just flick his wrist and the ball flies. Need to get him up here, man. I, I really don't understand what the Yankees' thought process is uh, with, with not having Ben Rortvet up. I, I don't get it. I, I really don't understand it. The 2-1 incoming pitch to Mullins in the dirt. The count is 3-1. Guys, you got 385 in here. Smack that like button. Anthony Garcia, my brother, pitch high. He walks them first and second, two away. Hell doesn't understand why the Yankee fans are upset. I don't know how much more he needs to understand. As Ron Marinaccio is warming up for the Yankees, and here comes Matt Blake. Here comes Blake Boone is blowing bubbles. He even blows them out of his ass in the locker room, per my understanding, from what I've heard. And Glaber Torres uh, pops him with his nose. 
Uh, just telling you guys what I've heard, okay? First and second, two outs. The battle will be Colton Kowser, who is the only Oreo without a hit today. Carlos, what's going on, brother? How you doing, man? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? First pitch to Kowser is a swing and a miss. And the count is 0 and 1. O and 1. The 0-1 incoming pitch inside, 1-1. Cashman is not creative enough. That's one of my biggest problems with Brian Cashman is he is just not creative. He's not creative enough anymore. The Yankees have a chance to be good if he just gets creative and he doesn't do it. Swing and a miss. Count is now 1-2. and two. <clears throat> One and two on Colton Kowser. The one two from Garcia pitch outside, and the count is two and two. Yeah, that's Booney just blowing back, sitting bubbles, uh, shooting bubbles out all day. Not a big deal. Would I fire Boone? You guys, I mean, come on. I don't, I don't got to answer that for you guys. I, I don't think Boone is the manager for this club. I really don't. Hit in the air to center. Who's going to be there? It is going to be Bader who makes the catch. And that will end the inning. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Yankees coming on up. IKF may have to mop up. He just might. Garcia's gone two and two-thirds, no earned runs. Three walks, one K, two hits. He's managed. He's been able to manage at least. Get a little mop up, mop uh, mop duty for the Yankees at least. Yeah, lack of creativity is a problem. Um, it's been a problem on this club for a long time. I I talk about this stuff often, guys. That's why. You know, um, watch whoever you want to watch, but I know that I could sit here and tell everybody. I think we've been, you know, pretty damn accurate for the stuff that we talk about and discuss here at NYY News TV. Um, you know, um, they just they just haven't been what they should be. And Brian Cashman is is not too creative. He's like, oh, let me just get a batter. Why not? Why not? You know, when you got all these guys in AAA, why not use the guys in AAA? Ben Rorvet's on the 40-man roster. Oswald Peraz is on the 40-man roster. You definitely got a room, room to add a catcher on this club. Now, I know the Yankees' concern. I get it. Oh, but it, it, it God forbid that we trade Higgy or we trade Trevino, whatever we might do. If we trade Higgy, for an example, what if somebody gets hurt? Rorvet's been injured often. What if he gets hurt? What do you do then? They got so many guys in AAA. Rodolfo Duran... Um, uh, I know I'm missing a few. I'm 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 drawing a blank right now. But Rodolfo Duran is one. Who's my other guy? Uh, Carlos Navarez. I mean, they got a lot of guys in the minor leagues that are catchers at the upper level. That God forbid, if something were to happen, you got somebody that can come up, you know, and 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 make a bit of a change here. I don't know what to say, man. Thank you for being. My brother Ronnie says Bellinger four for four today averages up the two ninety eight. He's having a terrific season, and the best thing about Bellinger right now is he's not striking out at that twenty five twenty seven percent rate. He cut it down a bit, and also the shift has helped him. Banning the shift has also helped him. Pitch is low. Could be a good target for the Yankees, no doubt about it. He could definitely be a decent target because again, he's a great outfield defender and he's also a great first baseman. So you'll have the option to move guys around a little bit. The 2-0 to Volpe is fouled away. And the count is 2-1. and one. 
Josh Bro is now playing. Yep. He's back to back to playing regularly again. The Yankees got a lot of catchers, man. The idea that Ben Rortvet is finally showing health. And he's everything that they were promising us that he is. A very good defender and a much better hitter than some of us even thought. Fouled away two and two. He's a much better hitter. You know, so. The fact of the matter is that Ben Rortvet's not here. Oswald Peraza and, and, and Josh Donaldson just continues to get 100-plus at-bats, 600, almost 600 at-bats now with the Yankees in his career. I think it just tells you everything you need to know about how honest this team is about winning. Pitch! Line! Oh, man, what a catch by Bradish. Oh, man, I got nervous there. I thought it was going right to his face. Kyle Bradish makes the catch. Bradish, my bad, makes the catch. That was right back to Bradish's face. He makes the play. Thank God that didn't hit him. And there's one away. Yeah, I thought I heard that too. Eh, Hicks sucks. Good for him that he's uh, doing well for Baltimore. Pitch is high to Glaber Torres. The count is 1-0. Smacky to likey, hitty to subby, folks. Appreciate you guys today. Thank you for being here with me. 13-0 Baltimore lead here in the bottom of the six. Pitch. Hi. 2-0. 2-0. We are at 332 likes, guys. We want 400 likes today. Please do me a favor and smacky the likey. Pitch is hit in the air to right. Feels a base hit. Glaber Torres pokes a single to right. And that is the Yankees' second hit of the game. Hey! Hey! Two hits. Two hits, baby. Look at that. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's nice. That is nice. How beautiful. How beautiful. Here's Anthony Rizzo. Pitches a call strike on the corner. Definitely off the plate. Rizzo didn't like it. Then the count is 0 and 1. Glaber Day, baby. Yeah, Buna say I thought we battled well. We showed a lot of compete. That's his favorite thing now. We showed a lot of compete. 1 and 1. Rizzo 1 for 2 on a day. Anthony. 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 The 1-1. One, one. Outside. 2-1. Two and one. The 2-1 incoming to Rizzo. Pitch. Outside, three and one. A lot of good swings tonight. Yeah, that is definitely a, that is definitely a, a, a boonie for you. That's a boonie. Foul ball. Three and two now on Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo has not homered since May 20th. That is absolutely wild. He has not homered since May 20th. Fouled away. We'll do it again. 13-0 Baltimore lead, folks. Bottom of the sixth inning. Thank you guys so much again for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. It's been a tough one, no doubt about it. You guys have once again made it fun. Thank you. If I did not have an active chat, I don't know if I could do this, to be honest, <laughs> to be honest with you. The 3-2. Hit it in the right field. Going back, not deep. Catch is going to be made. And there is two away. Oh, mamma mia. Two outs.
Look at these baseball highlights right here, man. That was, look at this, man. Look at how they played the game back then, man. That's baseball for you. That's baseball for you. Beat the shit out of each other. Here's Bader. Liner up the middle. There's a base hit. Harrison Bader with the Yankees' third hit of the night as he goes right back up the middle. And it's first and second for shitty skunk mullet. Probably Bradish's last inning. Thank you, Hirsch. I appreciate that, man. You guys make it fun, no doubt about it. You guys make it fun. We're going to have a little mound visit here. A shitty skunk mullet is coming up. Who knows what they could be saying about good old shitty skunk. <laughs> probably plan on having a video after this game guys I might actually record it directly after this just talking about um, you know uh, the 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 ball game today, how the Yankees played, and, and really what they have to do. Um, we're going to see what goes on with Bowers, if he's going to be healthy or not. But uh, Bowers is getting an MRI. He might end up on the IL. And, I mean, if Bowers goes on the IL, the Yankees have to call up Floreal. First pitch is hit on the ground to short. <laughs> Throws over. Got him. There's your shitty skunk mullet. <laughs> It'll remain 13 to nothing. I mean, you got to, you know, Donaldson every now and then hits a homer, folks. You got to keep him. Why would you have Peraza up? What's the point? What's the point in playing a cost-effective, top prospect, young player, better bat, and probably just as good as a glove right now, cannon for an arm? What's the point of playing that guy for and giving him a leash like you give an Anthony Volpe? Because, I mean, this guy's hitting 130. So it's not like if he came up and hit 210, you should be actually pretty happy. That's not bad. If Peraza comes up and hits 215, 220, 225, you've improved. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I mean, unbelievable. Rick says Everson Pereira not in the lineup today. I think I was also told that um, they may have took in Floriel out of the game, but... If they did, it could also be because they're beating the shit out of whoever they're playing. Levi! Thank you for being a friend. Thank you, Levi. I appreciate that, my friend. I mean, I don't expect they will call him up, to be honest, but you never know. You never know, man. You never know. Maybe they would. Peraza cannot be worse than him. I, I, let, let's be real here, guys. The guy's hitting 130. <laughs> the guy's hitting 130, fam. 130. Come on now. Come on now. I mean, let, let's, let's get real for a second here. Let's get real. Yep. Correct, chef. They know. Here's Ron Marinaccio. Here's Ron Marinaccio. I just wanted to see. What was it that I wanted to see just now? Oh, Donaldson. He's hitting. Oh, I'm sorry. He's hitting 146. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Oh, my God. He's hitting 146. Excuse me, folks. I, I, I spoke too quickly about the great JD. Sorry, everybody. But, I mean, look. Let, let's get real here. Um. Peraza should be playing third base. Rortvet should definitely be one of the two catchers on the Yankees right now. No doubt about it. No question about it. And look, no matter what anybody wants to say as the first pitch is inside to Westberg, no matter what anybody wants to say about Estevan Floreal, I will just tell you this. At least he could play the outfield. High 2-0. That's all I could say. At least he can play the outfield. The Yankees don't even got players that know how to make a route to a baseball in the outfield. They're a World Series caliber operation. 
Three for six today is Ben Rorvet. Thank you for posting that, Philo. Three for six, two home runs, three RBIs, hitting 311 with almost a 1,000 OPS. But he's better off in AAA because we got Higgy and Trevino. Smart or Yankees? Three and one on Jordan Westberg. Top of the seventh, guys, in the bottom of the seventh, we will be honoring today's veteran. Thank you guys so much. And again, continue to send your pictures of your veteran, whether it is you or a family member, whatever it is. We're honoring a veteran every game in July. Go ahead and send that over to nyynewstv.com, whether it's a... Uh, Give us his name, his or her name, um, a backstory if you want. And if you can, a picture. I'll be very great. Thank you. We thank you all. Count is three and two now on Jordan Westberg. The three, two pitch line on the ground. Base hit past Anthony Volpe. Baltimore would hit number 17 tonight as Westberg is on for the third time. That'll bring up Adam Frazier, who the Yankees cannot get out. They cannot get him out. Robbie, I mean, that's what I'm trying to say. At least you know Estevan Floriel could play the outfield. That's the guarantee. The guarantee is that he's a good outfielder. Here's the pitch to Frazier's a call strike. And the count is 0-1. Florio for the season, 295 average, 992 OPS, 21 homers, 18 stolen bags. He'll be a 2020 guy in AAA this year. The 0-1. Hit on the ground the middle. That could be two. One, two. Double play. Big out. Oh. Would you look at that? Yeah. Two away. That'll bring up the number nine hitter, Urias. Justin, what's up, man? James. How you doing? Here to give a like. Thank you, brother. I greatly appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everybody. I want 400 likes today, guys. We're 52 away. Can we get the 400 likes? We are 52 likes away from today's goal. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you all. Here's the 0-1 incoming pitch. Outside, and the count is 1-1 one and one on Urias. Thirteen nothing. Baltimore out in front. Pitch. Hit in the air to left field. Right there is IKF. He will make the catch, and that'll end the inning. We go to the bottom of the seventh. And as Yankee Stadium sings God Bless America, folks, we will honor a veteran. <laughs> oh, yeah, hit that beautiful music. Hit that beautiful music. Today, folks, we are honoring... The uncle of member in our chat, Chris Fennell. Chris, thank you so much for this. And this is Chris's uncle, Charles Overcash. Charles is a Korean War vet. He served on the USS Manchester. Charles is no longer with us as Charles passed away last Christmas. Chris, your uncle is a hero. And we thank him and we honor him today for his service. Thank you so much, my friend, for sending that to us. And thank you so much to Mr. Charles Overcash. Fought in the Korean War. Thank you, Charles. Thank you.
All right, guys, I will be right back. Give me a second. Uh, continue to hit that like button and subscribe. Be right back with you guys. Okay, we are back in business. Thank you, Jimmy. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. I'm happy you guys like that. Figure it's the least I can do. Here is Billy McKinney. He takes a strike. Count as O and 1. Smacky to likey, hitty the subby, folks. The old one to McKinney is outside. Count as one and one. Pitching for the Orioles is the left-handed pitcher, Vespi. The one-one. Swing and a miss. Not even close. And the count is one and two. Dark Diggler. What is going on, my guy? How you doing? How you doing? The one two incoming to McKinney from Vespi. Pitch. Hey, struck him out. And there's one away. If I was there, Eric, I might be pitching a ninth inning. Sign me up. Sign me up. Sign me up. Alex, what is going on, brother? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Pitches inside. You guys find it kind of weird today that Frankie's been missing, and so has Anita. I'm just going to throw it out there, guys. I'm pretty sure we know who it is, and that is pretty sick of Frank. Let me tell you. That's a sick dude, man. I think I'm like Columbo. I solved the mystery. The 2-0 to DJ LaGround out pitch. Swing and a miss. And the count is 2 and 1. The 2-1. Line to left field is a base hit. Oh, DJ LeMayu was tired of grounding out. And he gets a base hit. Medina, we're going to need him, my guy. We're going to need him. We're going to need him. 
You know what I'm talking about, Hirsch. Pretty sick thing to do, man. That's a pretty sick thing to do. Frankie's going to be at the event. I don't know. That's a pretty sick thing to do. Pitch. Hit on the ground. It could be two. They'll get one. They will get two. IKF wants to go home. He said enough of this shit. We will go to the top of the seventh inning. Baltimore coming on up. Top of the eighth. Excuse me, guys. Top of the eighth inning. Baltimore coming up. What a ball game. What a game. We are currently at 366 on the likes. Can we make a run to 400? We are not far away. 34 likes away. Hop on those burner account, folks. Hit that like button. Hop on the burner and hit the like button, folks. Let's get to 400. Let us get to 400 today. Adam DeSocio, that is not a she. That is definitely a he. AJ, what's going on, brother? Good to see you. Valor, how you doing? Morris, what's up, my man? What is going on, everybody? Thank you guys for being here. Exactly, Rick. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Anthony Garcia says, Frankie Baseball and Anita Mulvaney. <laughs> oh, man. Poor Frank. Poor Frank. Hicks, $10 million, 0.5 war. JD, $25 million, zero war. Stanton, negative 0.4 war. IKF, 6 million, negative one war. DJ, 15 million, zero war. Sevy, 10 million, negative 0.7 war. That is wild, Asida Chef. That is absolutely wild. That is absolutely crazy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's the Yankees for you, folks. My goodness. My goodness. All right. Top of the eighth inning, 13 nothing Baltimore. 13, 17, and 0 for Baltimore. 0, 4, 0 for the Yankees. And I mean, here's Wandy Peralta. Was Josh Donaldson not available to pitch today? 0 and 1. One and one. Batter is Gunnar Henderson. Four for five on the day. Fighting for that rookie of the year. Definitely in the top of the contention right now. Two and one. He's right up there with Josh Young. Pitch. Swing and a miss. And the count is two and two. 88 million for negative war. That is about as pathetic as you get. It's about as pathetic as you get. Outside, three and two. Gary Renninger. What's going on, my guy? Yankees should be ashamed. You better believe, but they won't be. Shane McNeil. I appreciate you, my guy. Thank you for staying with us today. Yanks fan 04, what's up? Hey, struck him out. One away as Gunnar Henderson strikes out swinging. That'll bring a badly Rutschman. So they, Q, that is a great point. So they bring in Nick Ramirez when they're up 2 nothing, but they throw in Wandy Peralta when they're down by 13. Yeah, that's the way of the Yankees, folks. The boy wonder. Facts. Facts, the boy wonder. 100%. 100%. 
Oh, and one on James McCann. The pitch. Hit to right center field. That's a base hit. McCann will get the 18th hit of the day for the Baltimore Orioles. That'll bring up Jorge Mateo. Let me give you guys something real quick. I'm going to make this screen big. I'm going to call the game still. I'm sorry to take off game day, but I want to bring this up. I want to show you guys an example of something. Pitch to Mateo is going to be a base hit. First and second one away as Mateo singles. I want to bring this up really quickly. Jorge Mateo got off to one of the best starts of the season. And he came crashing back down to earth. Did the Baltimore Orioles simply say he's a great defender at shortstop? He got great speed. We're going to stick with him. What did the Baltimore Orioles do, folks? They called up Gunnar Henderson and they called up Jordan Westberg, two of their top prospects. And what did they do? They said, hey, Mateo, if you can't play, these, these kids can. They'll take over the left side of that infield. That, folks, is how you get things done and get guys to perform better. By holding players accountable. Yankees wouldn't have done it. I just wanted to put that out there because the Yankees wouldn't have done it and we all know it. We all know it. 2-0 and right now in O'Hearn as Wandy Peralta is putting himself in trouble here. The 2-0 incoming pitch. High almost hits him and it gets away. It'll now be second and third. O'Hearn not happy. Yankees need a fight to wake him up. Second and third, one away. Count is 3-0. and Smacky that likey, folks. We are 16 likes away from 400. He walks them. Bases loaded for Cedric Mullins. Bases juiced, one out. Wandy has not been the same as of late. Not even close. Not even close. Orioles are a base hit away from the 20th hit of their game. Pitch. Low. 1 0. 1 0. The 1 0. Hit on the ground. Right to first. They get one. They will not get two. As Wandy falls down making a catch, it is 14-0 Baltimore. That'll bring up Colton Kowser. It was the only Oreo without a hit today. Pitching coming to Colton Kowser. Pitch in the dirt. Good block by Trevino. 1-0. MKR, man. It's been a tough game. Pitch. Hits him. Bases loaded. As Colton Kowser gets hit by the pitch. Wandy obviously saying that's not intentional. Brendan Hyde not happy. He's screaming over there. The umps are going to have a conversation here. Come on now. Come on now.
And he is going to give a warning. And Brandon Hyde has every right to be pissed here. Why are you going to give a warning to the Orioles for? I mean, Brandon Hyde is right. I'm sorry. Brandon Hyde is right. He's right. I mean, there's a two guys up and in. He hits the second one. This is what's wrong with baseball today. Let the fucking team retaliate. I mean, that's not right. That's not right. Brandon Hyde has been tossed from this game. Man, that's a good toss. I don't blame him one bit. I don't blame him one bit. Brandon Hyde has every right to be aggravated right there and get thrown out of this game. I know I would have. I might have charged the mound, to be honest with you. I might have beat the Yankees in the game and fucked them up on the field. That's what I would have done. First pitch is in there for a strike. Bases juiced for Jordan Westberg. He's two for four today, having a great start to his major league career. The 0-1. Outside, the count is one and one. Did he go? Yes, he did. And the count is one and two on Westberg. Clay Holmes is warming up. <laughs> Pidge, hit on the ground softly. That is going to be a foul ball. And we'll do it again. Clay Holmes up for the Yankees. Thirteen likes away from four hundred guys. Come on, get on those burner accounts. Let's get those thirteen more likes, guys. Let's get those thirteen likes. Oh man, this team is hilarious. I I don't know. I tell you guys, I love the Yankees uh, probably more than more than many people. This team's philosophy, their coaching, all of it should be fucking sent to Mars. I mean, it, it's unbelievable. Two and two on Westberg. Smack you the likey, hitty the subby, folks. So we are working our way to twenty thousand. We're working our way to 20,000. Thank you guys so much. Pitch. Hit in the air to right field. Back is McKinney. Makes the catch. That'll end the inning. We will go to the bottom of the eighth. Yankees coming on up. Yankees coming on up. Well, bum, 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 bum. Bottom of the eighth inning coming on up. It is 14 to nothing, Baltimore. Terry says Rodon to the rescue. Oh, the Don is on. I hope I'll be saying that a lot this year. I can't wait to watch Carlos Rodon tomorrow. Excited for it. 
Gio says everyone is laughing in a dugout. They don't give a shit. There's no accountability, Gio. There's no accountability. There's none at all. Accountability doesn't exist here. One of my biggest problems with the Yankees this year is accountability. They don't have any. They don't have any. Two likes away from 400. Thank you guys so much. There's no accountability on this club, man. I've been talking about this for a long time. Okay, Vespi stays in. He's going to face Trevino. Let me get this off the screen. One second, guys. Bada bing, bada boom, ski. Pitch. Call strike. Nope. It is not an early game tomorrow. It's another 7 o'clock ball game. Saturday and Sunday are early games. Popped up. Foul. And the count is quickly 0 and 2. Tomorrow's a 7.05 game, guys. I probably will go live a little bit earlier. This one's a fair ball to left field. That's going to be a double for Trevino. Nope. He's thrown out. <laughs> I can't fuck it. Oh, you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. <laughs> oh my God, I tell you. You can't make, you cannot make this shit up. This is fucking hilarious. You gotta laugh, guys. Guys, you gotta laugh, man. You gotta fucking laugh. You shit-kicking, stinky, horseman, horse-smelling motherfucker, you. <laughs> Ball being in the end of center field. <laughs> and there's two away. <laughs> oh, man, that's great. That is, I, I'm sorry, but you gotta laugh, man. There's nothing to laugh about. <laughs> At this point, you have to laugh, everybody. You gotta laugh a little bit. Here's Glabas Torres. The 1 0 is a call strike, and the count is 1 and 1. It's unexcusable. It's absolutely unexcusable. And Aaron Boone is, you know, Aaron Boone's not going to care. <clears throat> 14 to nothing. The 2 1 is a call strike. And the count is three and two now. As that one is outside. Three and two count. No accountability. No accountability at all. Pitch has popped up a mile high. And that is going to end the inning. We go to the top of the ninth inning. Orioles. Coming on up. Orioles coming on up. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Sassy, queenie, sweetie baby. How are you doing? Thank you for being here. Appreciate everybody. Guys, did we get to that 400 number? I'm assuming we probably did. I think we were two away. 406. We are at 406 right now. Guys, thank you so much. I'm very, very happy with that. I asked you guys to get me to 400 today, and you came through. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for everything today, guys. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Jerry, is this a major league team, Jerry? It's pretty debatable, Jerry. Again, I just want to say I am shocked that the New York Yankees, even after this loss, are going to be eight games over 500. I mean, I, I am actually shocked about that. I really am. And Isaiah Kiner Falefa is in to pitch yet again for the Yankees. I mean, he might have the most pitching appearances. Games started on the mound by anybody outside of what's his face? Um, Otani. So here's IKF. Three games this year. This is his fourth one. A 3.0. Three, 3.0. Three, three innings pitched. A three ERA. But here we go. Here we go, folks. This is his fourth outing already. Is IKF's. Pretty amazing to think about that. No, Carlos. Uh, Carlos Rodon pitches tomorrow. He pitches tomorrow. First pitch is high. 1-0. Batter is Adam Frazier. Frazier is three for five today. Pitch. Hit on the ground foul. And the count is one and one. Pitch. Hit in the air to left field. Ranging over is Cabrera. He makes the catch. And there's one away. IKF, man. Thank you for being a friend. Jeff, thank you so much. I've been a fan for 40 years, sat through horrible teams where all we had was Donnie baseball. This is the worst playing, no heart, no pride Yankee team I've seen. Disgusting. Uh, Jeff, if I could agree with that comment by me just talking, maybe even more, I don't know how I could do it. 100% correct. You are 150% correct, correct, Jeff, and I thank you so much for that. It's, it's what I've been saying for a while now. I've been saying this for a while now about this club. It's absolutely ridiculous. Pitch is a base hit to right field. Urias with his second hit of the night. And that is the 20th hit of the game for the Baltimore Orioles. 20th hit of the ball game. Yep, nothing is going to happen unless the philosophy of this club changes. And as of right now, they don't care about that. Here's Gunnar Henderson, who might be looking for his third bomb tonight if he gets one over the plate. Here's a call strike, and the count is one and one on Henderson. 20 hits right now for the Orioles and 14 runs. Hit in the air to left center field. Going back is Bader. He's there. He makes the catch. Two away. Isaiah Connor Falefa is one out away from another solid inning. It's pretty sad that we're even talking about this because how many times the poor guys had to come in. It's pretty damn pathetic to be real with you. Here's James McCann, who is one for one on a day. Pitch from IKF is fouled away, 0-1. <clears throat> that is Gunnar Henderson, seventh at bat, four for seven. Five RBIs for Henderson, two homers. This one's fouled away. Count is 0 2. 0 2 on McCann. The 0 2 from IKF. Way high, almost hits him. And the count is 1 and 2. The one-two. Hit on the ground. A short. Great play by Volpe. Goes the second. Got him. IKF yet again. A scoreless inning for Isaiah Kiner Falefa. That brings IKF season ERA to 2.25. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. It'll be Oswaldo Cabrera, Harrison Bader, and shitty skunk mullet 
Coming up for the New York Yankees. Yankees down by 14. 14, 20, and 0 for Baltimore. 0, 5, and 0 for the New York Yankees, folks. It has been one of those games. Yes, it has been. Yes, it has been. Just the pathetic performance by the Yankees. Sloppy play all around. Sloppy play everywhere. What are you going to do, guys? What are you going to do? It's horrible baseball. Horrible baseball. All righty then. Again, guys, I just want to thank each and every one of you for hanging out with me today. Um, Stay tuned with me after the game, guys, if you want to. I got a couple of things I want to get off my chest about this club. I'm not going to do much screaming or yelling or anything like that, Um, but I definitely got some, some things I want to say about the New York Yankees, or you could catch it later. I'm going to release it as a video. So if you guys want to catch that later, you're more than welcome to dip on out of here immediately. Couldn't blame you for that one. Player of the game is almost certainly Gunnar Henderson. Huge game for the rookie shortstop of the Baltimore Orioles. Oh, let me get this off the screen. Here we go. Edward Bizzardo in the pitch for Baltimore. Thank you guys for all the subscribers today. I appreciate you all. Thank you for the over 400 likes. And guys, you already know right down here, NYY News TV Day, September 23, in the Audi Club at Yankee Stadium. We got 28 tickets remaining. Make sure you do that. Make sure you do that. Pitch is incoming, and it's a swing and a miss. And the count is 0-1 on Waldo Cabrera. MKR, I, 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 again, I never know if I'm going to rant. I just come out there and do my thing. If it becomes a rant, it becomes a rant. Pitch, swing and a miss, not even close. Why is this guy in the majors? I don't know. 0-2 on Oswaldo Cabrera, who has no business being in the major leagues, but this is the New York Yankees. This is the New York Yankees, folks. <clears throat> In the dirt, count is 0-2. 1-2, and two. One and two, excuse me. The 1-2 pitch. Hit in the air to center field. That's going to be over everybody's head. Oswaldo Cabrera will have a no-out double. To begin the bottom of the ninth. Here come the Yankees, folks. <laughs> Here come the Yankees. Look at Boone saying, oh, my guys are playing hard. They got six hits today, damn it. We, ne we never do that. We're playing real hard today. We are playing hard today, folks. Chris Mack, nope. No business being in the majors. Not at all. One double doesn't do dick for me. No reason he should be in the major leagues. 204, 568 OPS. He should not be in the major leagues. The 01 is hit on the ground to short. Mateo Fields fires one away. One out, runner stays at second base. Let's at least get a run on the board. Here's shitty skunk mullet. Good old shitty skunk. Looking for his big home run of the day. Pitch, swing and a miss. He was looking for it. 
Shitty skunk was looking for it. The old one, the shitty skunk. Pitch from Bizarro. Fouled away. Count as quickly. Oh, and two. That's going to reach the seats. Oh, and two. Eli BK, I appreciate that, my guy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mark, what's up, man? The 0-2 to Shitty Skunk. Pitch. Hit in the air to center field and deep. Going back. Short of the wall, he makes the catch. And there's two away. I thought he actually was going to do it. I thought he was actually going to hit a home run. That would have been hilarious. That would have been hilarious. Donaldson 0 for 3 now with a walk in the game. Now hitting 144 in the season. Two outs. And the batter will be Billy McKinney, who is 0 for 3 today. Now hitting 250 on the season. Pitch. Outside in the corner. Count his own one. Low, and the count is one and one. The one one incoming pitch is a swing and a miss. Yankees down to their final out of the game. And the Yankees on the bench, you know, it is what it is. Just another night at the office, folks. It's just another night at the office. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Not a big deal at all. Pitch is way outside. Good block by McCann. Saves a run. Now that's a scoop if I ever seen one. He just saved a run right there. Would have been kind of funny if the Yankees had to score on a wild pitch. <laughs> Can't score anywhere else. Score it on a wild pitch. The hell with it. The 2-2 two -two to Billy McKinney is in the dirt, and the count is full at 3-2. and two. Full at 3-2. and 3-2. Two. and two. The 3-2 to McKinney. Hit on the ground. Base hit the right field. Just under the glove of the first baseman. And the Yankees are on the board. It is now a 14-1 to ball game. As Billy McKinney is going to get a base hit the right field. And that will give DJ LeMayu a chance. <clears throat> Boone's going to say we showed some great compete. After this one, oh, my team showed some great compete. They showed some great compete today, let me tell you. Let me tell you. <clears throat> As a call strike, LeMayu doesn't like it. The 1-1 one, one incoming to DJ LeGround out. Swing and a miss. And the count is 1-2. and two. Yankees once again down to their final out. Pitch, popped up foul. He'll do it again. The 
The one, two, incoming in the dirt. And the count is two and two. Two and two in LeMayu. The two two. Hit on the ground softly. Feels. Fires. That's your ball game. DJ La Ground Out. DJ La Ground Out. That is your ball game, folks. <clears throat> Let me get a little zippy of water. And let's go ahead and uh, talk a little about today's game. First, I just want to thank everybody uh, for joining me today. You guys have been absolutely amazing. Uh, today was, was, of course, a very, very tough game for the New York Yankees as they get absolutely obliterated 14-1. to Just an absolute um, destructive game for the Yankees. Um, a lot of bad play all around. Just completely destroyed. There's even a bigger story here when it comes to the New York Yankees, folks. Uh, that story to me is that the New York Yankees have a Luis Severino problem, and then they also have a complacency problem. Let me discuss all that for you real quickly. Luis Severino today has taken a loss, as you guys already know. Uh, Luis Severino on the season is now 1-4. and four. He has a 7 38 ERA. Guys, he pitched two and two-third innings, 10 hits, seven earned runs. Uh, forget the case, forget all that. Luis Severino has a 7.38 ERA. He's giving up homers like it's nothing. He looks absolutely terrible. Good news for the Yankees is they actually have pitching. So it's not the worst case scenario in the world that Severino sucks. You like him to be good, but the Yankees got a Luis Severino problem. Let's be honest here. But the biggest problem that the New York Yankees have, they have a complacency problem. That is the biggest issue. Because in a game like this, where the Yankees don't hit again, as they haven't done for years, they don't hit, and they decide, who gives a shit? They just look sloppy as hell again. They also have had no outfielders all season. And what do the Yankees do? Continue to run it out there. Everything is fine at Yankee land, guys. Even with this loss, we're eight games above 500. I tip my cap to you. I salute you on that. Being eight games above 500 is pretty fucking impressive. I got to be real with you. It is pretty impressive. Here's the problem. You are a World Series caliber operation. I'm going to give you an example again of the Baltimore Orioles. Jorge Mateo got off to one of the greatest starts in the planet. He was looking like one of the breakout stars in Major League Baseball. Jorge Mateo fell off a cliff. What do the Baltimore Orioles do? They could have very simply said, we are in second place. We're playing maybe better than even we expected us to play. Guys are doing better than even we expected. Here's the problem, folks. What do they do? Not like the Yankees. They decided we are not going to be complacent. We are going to go for it. What do they do? Gunnar Henderson's up. Jordan Westberg is up. Those guys are playing the infield. Mateo, have a seat. Relax. We'll get you in every now and then. But these guys are going to get time. The Yankees, folks, have Estevan Floreal having the greatest year of his career. I don't care about the hitting. Don't bring up, oh, he can't hit Major League pitching. Folks, he could catch. That's it. He could catch. Enough. Move on. Move on. Oswald Peraza, who was their top prospect. He wasn't some ragdoll bum. He wasn't some ragdoll you throw around. He is actually a top prospect. What have the Yankees done with him? Enjoy AAA, kid. Shitty skunk mullet is okay hitting 144. But he hits a homer every now and then. 144. So if we called you up, I mean, if you hit 210 and play good defense, you're an improvement. You're an improvement. That's it. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. 
And then you got Ben Rortvet, who was a main part of that trade. Rocco Baldelli was very upset when the Twins gave him up. When the deal happened in the Gary Sanchez trade, everybody said the Yankees are getting the catch. Oh, it's Ben Rortvet. Yankees believe this guy could be the future at their catching position. Ben Rortvet gets the name. He's the ghost. He's always injured. He's never here. I don't believe he's real. Now the kid shows that he's real. Two homers tonight. Oh, Floriel hit his 21st also, but anyway. Two homers tonight hitting over 300 and has an 1,000 OPS. And it's not like this is a kid who can't defend. He's a very, very good defender. And he's a lefty. Wouldn't it be nice to platoon a righty and a lefty catcher? You know, also somebody that can hit the ball. You would think after years and years and years of the Yankees doing this shit, they might want some guys that can hit the baseball. They might want to give the offense a facelift, as I've been saying for the longest time. But they're too complacent for their own good. Because guess what? As my friends at NYYST say right here, it is smart or Yankees. Well, stick with the veterans for a very long time. And we'll leave the young kids in the minors. Every other team is saying, get them up. Get them up. Get them up. Get them up. What are the Yankees doing? Let me pull this back up again. Thank you, Asida Chef, for this, by the way. Before I wrap this this up, I want to go over this one more time. Where is this thing at? Here it is. Listen to this, folks. Aaron Hicks was getting paid $10 million. He had a negative .5 war for the Yankees. Josh Donaldson getting paid $25 million. He has a zero war at the Yankees. Stanton, $22 million, a negative .4 war. IKF, $6 million. Who I'm not even going to knock. He has a one. Uh, the kid's been good. He's been, I'm not going to knock IKF. DJ LeMayu, $15 million, a zero war. Luis Severino, a point, a negative .7 war. He's getting paid $10 million. But you mean to tell me Peraza, Floriel, and Ben Rordvet doesn't make this team better. It's just a different change. Keep running the same shit out here. Doing the same thing year and year and year and year and year is the definition of insanity when it doesn't work. Brian Cashman even admitted it. We need to get younger, more athletic, and more contact. He said it. He said it. That's why we got Ben Attendee. What did he do in the offseason? He didn't get Yoshida. He didn't get none of those guys. What did he do? Nothing. Nothing. Aaron Boone says they're showing great compete. Don't worry about it, guys. Showing great compete with too fucking good. We're good. Good news is, I guess, Carlos Rodon comes back tomorrow. I am excited about that to watch him. But man, oh man, I don't know what moves the Yankees will make if they make any. They usually don't. But um, they should have a different looking offense right now. They should get that facelift as I've been talking about for a while. What is the worst that can happen? Another guy gets injured? It's baseball. It's baseball. But this got to change. It's got to change. Happy NPA. Thank you so much for becoming a Real Talk member. We greatly appreciate you. With that being said, guys, I am out. Tomorrow, myself and Derek of NYY Recaps will be calling Game Season Live. Call us Rodan's first start. Guys, you are the best. I absolutely love this community we are building Thank you guys so much. Until next time, I am out. Peace, guys. Thank you.